or I cannot make a mistake or I will die. I am no longer enjoying myself. I think the word you're looking for, Asman, is, uh, 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 is, and I quote, a great man once said this, and the word is lack of proficiency. I think the, the phrase that you're looking for is devoid of the necessary talents. I think the, the, the phrase of which you are referring to is an inadequate prowess. Yes, a deficiency in proficiency, a competence deficiency, a void of ability, a lack of mastery. One might say a skill issue. <laughs> What did he do? November what, 23rd, What did he do? Boys, it's the only way. A machine. Unstoppable. No, unkillable. Stop. Immortal. Stop. The stop. wall. Stop. Stop. That's right. Yep. Stop. Fat roll? Absolutely. Stop. Stop this. This isn't right. So... The problem was dodging, and so we removed the need for it. Th this isn't right, dude. This isn't- this isn't how you're supposed to play the game. Stop! Stop. Alright, we figured it out. No! Do it. No! Do it again. No! Do it again. No! This is wrong! This is All wrong. Right. This is wrong, and you know it's wrong. Asmin, you're better than this. Okay, well, you're not better than this, but Asmin, come on. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Stop it. Surely he doesn't fight Mesmer like this. No. No. Suck it, No. 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 It sure is easy whenever you block every single attack he does. Show talismans. We have the Great Shield talisman, the Erd Tree talisman. Hey, you know what you have? The I'm a fucking failure because I couldn't beat Elden Ring DLC talisman. Nah, this is fucked up. I don't support that. I, I don't I don't support that. I'm I'm in firm. I'm in firm opposition to that, man. No, don't support it. Never will support this. Who, who is this person in my Twitter community who keeps thinking that I don't like lesbians? Who, I might, might. Homophobes, racist, lolly, shodacons do not interact. Tectones fan don't interact. Bro, you're in my community. I got Tectones fans so mad these even these idiots aren't opposing IRL picks themselves to try to prove me wrong. I love TikTok so much. Dude, I wonder if this person understands that nobody here is homophobic. They just lack reading comprehension. And they lack the ability to critical think. And nobody's mad. They're just embarrassed. Like, they're kind of just like, okay, well, here we go. It's like when... Uh, it's like when there's a like a like a retard and uh and like Starbucks, right? And they're like screaming at the top of their lungs dinosaur noises, and nobody really wants to look at them, but they're being so fucking loud you just like can't help it, right? And then they think they're they're in control, and it's like nah, bro. I mean, we're not mad, but we sure wish you would just stop screaming at the top of your fucking lungs. It's kind of embarrassing. Well, but you remember the Genshin character you memed on? No, I don't actually. Wait, uh, what's this? XDD code. Can I give a hot take? Playing like this is easier than actually just playing the game normally. Am I crazy for that? 
All you gotta do is learn one parry move. Am I crazy for that? Where's the parry? Where's the parry? Where's the parry, bro? Why'd you stop? Oh! Eat a dick! <laughs> nah, that's coward shit, bro. That's coward shit, bro. Play like a man. Dodge the abilities and hit him. Don't do this pussy shit, bro. Uh, so today we're talking about Nick Marks and Dr. Disrespect. Uh, but first, real quick, is there anything in Wuthering... I need to do some shit in Wuthering Ways real quick. Let me, let me do some shit in Wuthering Ways real quick. And then uh, I want to talk about the Dr. Disrespect Nick Mark shit. Because uh, I feel like this situation can be fixed very, very, very simply. Right? Why they're both fucking losers? Uh, because it represents a larger issue. Right? And I think it's very simple just to break it down. I want to get into it. Yeah. Are you aware of the Crown Green? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is it Mr. Beast tweet? Uh, shit, maybe we get into the, uh, the, the, the Chris and Mr. Beast shit, too. Um, but I've been barraged with this shit on Twitter, and it's very simple how we fix all this. You know what I'm saying? It's very simple. The one who is pussy is you for quitting the DLC. Who, who quit the DLC? Me? My ass? When the fuck did I say that? When, when the, when the fuck did that happen? Uh, what you think about the slime botting situation? The slime botting situation? What you mean? The enviosity botting situation? Slime botting. What happened? Hold up. Just drop it and move on. Stop harassing. I. Hey, I'm just. Hey, chat came to me. <laughs> chat, chat came to me. I didn't start nothing. I got asked. I don't know what you want me to do, man. I just heard somebody say some slime. Bot I'm gonna just look into it real quick. Hey, I am just looking into it real quick. You know what I'm saying? I'm just looking into it. Why do you think, why do you think I'm, a, I'm strictly going to be against him? How come when you say, look into this guy's actions, why do you get so defensive before I've even made a verdict? Why are you assuming that it's true? Why do you think I need to leave him alone? I could have his back. Because I can tell you right now. Damn, bro. Listen, guys, you got to understand. Even though I don't like people, if they're not in the wrong, I'm not going to pretend they're in the wrong. Okay? I'm like, I can have people's back even if I don't like them. Does that make sense to you? He ain't botting. You can tell just from his page. Well, let's see here. So some guy said, what do you think about the slime botting situation? Uh, this seems pretty normal. Uh, this also looks very normal. This looks very, very, very normal. This looks very normal. Uh, okay, that don't. Um, okay. Yeah, that don't look normal at all. That actually looks the exact opposite of normal. Uh, okay, yeah, that looks pretty bad. Yeah. That looks, that looks pretty fucking bad. I think that's, uh, maybe 52% authentic users. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, this, this looks pretty shitty, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this is, this is 1 million unauthentic viewership. I noticed this the other day, but I hadn't looked into it yet. Uh, but yeah, that looks really fucking bad. That looks really, really, really fucking bad. But it was short-lived. But yeah, I don't know what went on here, but this is one, per, one million percent inauthentic viewership. One million percent. 
Uh, but yeah, it looks like if there was any botting, it was temporary. Other than that, this shit looks very, very, very normal. Like, very, very, very normal. So, yeah. <sighs> That's pretty much it. Maybe maybe there was some botting going on day one just to uh, take advantage of new patch hype, but uh, there's obviously nothing provable, right? Who knows if it was them? Who knows? But yeah, I mean, there was definitely there was definitely botting going on for that for that one specific day. But that's about it, though. Which is great. Uh, botting is very, very, very bad. It's very inauthentic for the platform. But yeah, 18. That's bot day. Probably bot attack. Yeah, I don't know. Who knows? I mean, I I don't want to put it past anybody for wanting to uh, maybe bot day one in order to gain the increased viewership for that day. However, there's there's no the the reason why botting is very hard to tackle is due to the fact that you don't know who's doing it because there are even some streamers who get botted by their community, right? So it's very, very, very hard to prove. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I mean, to deny that that stream was botted is kind of ignorant because it, I mean, obviously, as you can tell by the fucking graphics itself. Uh, but yeah, it looks pretty shitty, but who, who knows who's doing it? You know what I mean? Uh, rate my wool AMB. No, I'm good. Look at the Genshin category right now. Okay. Genshin. Why, what's the problem? Genshin. Why, what's the problem? Genshin. Shut the fuck up, Tech Down. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. 2% viewership is fucking insane. That is that is straight up dia fucking bollico, bro. That is straight up fucking diabolical. What the fuck are they even do? The okay. All right, yeah. Nah, I'm mean, I surprised. No, not really. By the way, when's the when's the new patch for uh Weathering Waves come out? Does anybody know? Does anybody know? 28th? Thank God, bro. I need I need more shit to do, man. I I really 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 need more shit to do. It, I, I am getting to the point where I'm getting a little bit antsy because I want to play this fucking game so bad, but I'm currently not able to, which really fucking sucks. Uh, let me beat this shit. I, I just, I just legit, I just can't wait. You know, like, uh, we're getting so close. I just, I just want to play this fucking game, you know what I'm saying? Are you pulling on Jinsi or Chang Lei? Uh, I'm pulling on, um, both. And I'm going to get both. Yeah, I kind of just want to play the game and have fun. If I have to get the battle pass, I might. We'll see. But I do kind of just want to play the game. I I am am contemplating just getting the battle pass. Have you seen the road killer new video? No, we're gonna watch all that. I, my goal today is to make twelve react videos. Uh so that's that's what I plan on doing. I mean, today today's gonna be a mega stream, hundred percent. Uh, we're going over like legit everything. I need to do my dailies. So I can make this video because I want to do an account update video to show people my current thoughts and weathering waves and my account progress. Uh, but yeah, uh, today is going to be a, a gargantuan stream. But I think I think I'm getting to the point like a lot of other people are at right now, where we're all getting a little bit um, a little bit impatient and we just want to play the fucking game. Uh, crit rate and attack. Crit energy. This one is just really fucking good. But I'm being patient. Like, we're garnering a fuck ton of Echo experience. Like, we're garnering a fuck ton. So things are looking good. Man, that's ass. Is what it is. It's not, it's not like Verena needs anything. We just need to hit one attack roll and we're good. Uh, and let's do... Um, what is a forgery challenge? I could do this. I think... That, is the Echo event still going on right now or no? Don't upgrade Echoes until 1.1 .1 the reducing shell cost. Yeah, true. I'm, I'm just doing that for the... Um, just for the daily, so I'm not doing anything else. Yeah, is the echo event still up? It is. Okay, great. We'll do we'll do uh, the Chang Lee through it. But yeah, I want I want to run this shit the fuck down. I want to get this shit fucking going. I want to get this shit locked up, and I want to be good to go. Give me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I also want to play Elden Ring, and then I also want to do a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of reacting. Give me that. Yeah, YouTube's been doing good. Twitch has been doing good. Um, all my homies are doing good, which made me very happy. Uh, a lot of the dumbasses who are attempting to make a career off of um, talking about me nonstop are just just falling dead in the fucking tracks. 
uh, which is great. Yeah, that, that dude Tao made like three videos on me and I didn't react to any of them. And then the viewership was like, it was like 2K. So hopefully, I mean, I, I can tell bro's probably pissed as fuck as uh, everything surrounding him. But the, the only person he should be mad at is, is him fucking self. And hopefully he'll realize that when he's a big boy. Maybe when he stops jerking off to assholes, farts, and shit porn, uh, maybe he'll actually understand that he was his own undoing. Uh, but we'll see. That shit made me happy as fuck. Uh, actually, mad funny. Actually, mad funny. Tectone's preying on the downfall of another content creator. Yeah, because he's a fucking freak. Yes, I do do that quite often. I actually think it's actually a very natural thing to do as well. I do think it is natural for people to want to be upset at someone who they think is a weird fuck uh versus rather than them think is a weird fuck versus them know is a weird fuck right because there's a difference between saying oh i think this guy's weird because i saw a twitter hate thread that i never looked into about it versus oh this guy's fucking weird because i saw him do weird shit and i know it demonstrably to be true yeah. Yeah. Have you seen one point one upcoming events tonight? Yes. Also, any any crazy ass bullshit been going on lately? I see that. Um, I see that currently a lot of people are uh, making a take about what happened with Mina. Eight hours fucking late. I don't, I don't know where the fuck these people were. I swear to God, there are some content creators who, like, wait to see if I'll cover it, to see if they can, like, gauge the public reaction before they talk about it because they're afraid of getting backlash. But, like, I mean, let's just be real, guys. I mean, come on. We're just calling out somebody for being a fucking hypocrite. You know, it ain't that really a big of a deal. I don't know if it's, like, a crime or some bullshit, but... It's legit just Mina saying, Oh, men bad, women good. I mean, what else is new, man? I mean, that's pretty much what everybody else who panders to Twitter does regardless. You know what I'm saying? All right, box two went in from the beginning. Oh, box is a real motherfucker, bro. I, I don't give I don't give a fuck what a single motherfucker says. Box two is a fucking real one. Oh God, and and he's been a real one, not from the beginning, not from the beginning. He had to shape up a little bit, but he got there. Oh yeah, nice. That's one. Go again. <laughs> Racist too? Yeah, I don't know about that one, man. I don't know about that one. Yeah, I know some uh, other people were calling out um, Hassan and NMP for viewbotting too, which I wanted to talk about. And then there was a contestant on OTK Top Streamer um, who bitched at me for being in chat, voicing my opinion. And then I got to go in on that. Uh, but yeah, a lot of dumb motherfuckers are doing a lot of dumb fucking shit, and I'll be real, guys, I have time for all of them. I have time for absolutely all of them. Who was it? I don't know. We're gonna get into it. Somebody, somebody will link it to me for sure. It was like a, it was like a kick clip. But yeah, I got time for every single one. And I'll make time, bro, because they're not gonna say this dumb shit without being corrected. Absolutely fucking not. I mean, these, these people, these people are lucky. These people are, are lucky I play fucking anime Wii video games because if I didn't, bro, god damn, man. I would have so much more time. They're lucky. They're lucky this fucking Echo event's up right now. Otherwise, I would have already gone in. They're lucky, bro. I see a lot of people saying that submissions are overproduced. What do you think? The fuck? Those submissions fucking sucked. Overproduced? The fuck? Those things were ass. I'm gonna lock that one because energy regen's good. Oh, Cheng Li Deska. Yeah, no, this is fucking terrible. You say overproduced? Dumb motherfuckers, man. Yeah, I got, I got no idea who's saying that. To be honest, that shit feels so cap. I almost don't want to believe you that anybody said that. But then again, I'm sure at least one person said that. And you were probably just gravely, gravely overestimating that opinion. That is a dog shit take. I mean, it's a submission video for a contest that can win you $50,000. And here's the other thing. These people who only think it's about the prize money are just as stupid as the people who think that you have to win to get any benefit. The moment that you're on, you win. The literal moment. 
just getting your name out there once is huge. Now, I'll, I'll, I will admit, you know, full disclosure, after being on once, the law of diminishing returns really kicks in. Right? So you really only need to be seen once. That's why submission videos are so important, because those are your first impressions. And that's pretty much it. I Dungle said you and your community is the reason why I didn't pass OTK's top talent. No, the reason why I didn't pass is because this video sucked balls. Yeah, we're go I'm going to go into that shit, too. Hey, you know what's even better? Actually, I don't want to spoil it because I'm going to go in on that guy. You want to know why? Because I will support small streamers and I will also rip them a fucking part. Because if they're being stupid and if they want to farm me for a fucking clip, great. Great. You have my attention, man. We'll go into all of that. Uh, garbage. 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 Nice. All right, we got two usable ones. Yeah, not a smart move. Oh, a very, 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 very dumb move. A stupid move indeed. Uh, I believe that's everything. Uh, I believe I believe that is absolutely everything. How long do I have into the battle pass? The battle pass dies in three days. Am I going to buy this? I could get so much cool shit if I bought it. I could get so much cool shit. Free to play plus? Don't. I'm really thinking about it. Dude, if this helps me build my characters, I'm just I'm just really considering it, guys. I really am. I'll I'll have to um I'll have to uh I'll have to say it, it really depends on what I think um is the best content. I think me not getting Jin C and Shang Li is objectively bad content. I, I do, I do think that. I do, I do think it's bad content for me not to get them. I really, really, really do. Uh, but we're going to say. Both must pull. I, I 1 million percent agree. Uh, I'm, I'm very glad with me skipping Gian. Because I also think Gian gameplay is strictly bad content. But it does make people who are bad at video games look good at video games. And it also makes people who are bad at video games feel like they're good. Right? So, I, I, I think that's just really bad for me. Because, like, if I beat something with Gian, it's like, okay, who cares? Bro, auto wins the game. It's okay to be a light spender. Yeah, the problem is, is just... The idea of being, like, enviosity makes me fucking depressed with myself. You think we pours? Uh, no, I don't think you're poor. I think the majority of you guys probably spend at least $5 on the game every month. The place Mizkif went to perform hair surgeries? Whoa, 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 gotcha, guys? Yes. So I checked the ones with the hair surgery that Miz and place, and Miz should have asked what this guy got. <laughs> Damn, bro. Damn, bro. They out here saving lives, man. They out here saving lives. Damn, bro. About the new Tectone clip. I love the fact that I got convinced the best way possible. Now at least I finally have something to get to those bitchy poker villagers who keep saying skill issue roll better. Wait, what is this? No. Oh, I'm well aware, man. Why take it seriously, though, is my question. Okay, let me tell you why. You want me to tell you why I take it seriously? So what is the fun of having a conversation? I want to have a dialogue with you real quick, Clover. Oh. What what is uh -huh. what is the fun part of having the conversation? Chat Clearly you're wall. slow. That's okay. I'll carry this conversation for us. Okay. The exciting part of a conversation is to have a dialogue, guys, a back and forth. Now I want you to imagine having a conversation with someone who only uses one phrase, and no matter what you say, they say the same one phrase, no matter what it is. And I want you to think: Is that going to be a fun conversation to have? It's like you're talking to a NPC. True. Okay, and if no matter what it is you say, no matter what it is you do, the only thing someone says uh. is the same thing over and over again. Exactly, it's like talking to a Pokemon, right? Like Squirtle, Squirtle. It is irritating as sh 
It's like talking to a toddler, exactly. I don't know anything about yeah. that. Maybe Dr. D does too, but those are allegations. Who knows? And I cannot tell you how irritating it is to try to play Elden Ring, try to play Honkai Star Rail, try to play Wuthering Waves. And if anything goes wrong, if anything doesn't go perfect, skill issue. Would it be better if someone explained why you have a skill issue? Absolutely. I would love that. That would be awesome. But just saying skill issue over and over and over again is the most irritating brain rot cringe I've ever seen. True. Uh, on Wait for the line. back seating is fine, to be honest. It, Wait for the line. Is, ban that word? No, I'm good. I'm good. I, I want people to say it. That way I get free bans. Yeah, I uh, was waiting for the lie. Uh, guy's kind of spitting. Nice analogy. You do it on the left side. It's called by YouTube. It's called fucking Arabic because I'm Arab, of course. Pokies villagers are indeed toxic. I have no idea what this does. Pokies villagers are indeed toxic. I know this person because I was fighting them back when Pokies said smack. I remember the 175, 174, 75. I think I take the L when you clearly fucked up when I said this was a pay. Wait, what happened? Our streamer? What happened? True, I agree. I'm in the village and I don't tolerate to what they say, but I feel like I agree with them a lot of stuff these days. Maybe Poke cleared some of the toxic ones because most of them are as sweaty as I am. Sorry. What is this? I'm mad. Hey, just wait till I press Adventure Range funny button one time. Wait, he could. Why no skill points? Why no skill points? Then you'll be sorry. Who the fuck can I hit? Oh boy. Oh. I've never seen Firefly do a basic attack in my entire life. And Han's basic, maybe, right? You run out of skill points. A normal basic attack. The reason why I had a normal basic attack is because my adventuring isn't fully leveled up. So I had to use his uh, skill. But I don't, I don't expect, like, light spenders to understand that not every adventuring can shield everything until they're fully, fully, fully built. Right, so that's the reason why I didn't have skill points there is because my adventure isn't strong enough. There's really no way to avoid that. It was either that or die. As, as you can tell by my Harmony MCs, HP. But the problem is, is that people judge everybody's gameplay based on their, like, high-level accounts. Oh, sorry. Whales don't fucking understand, understand that. Uh, but yeah, I had, to, I had to lose skill points because I had to use my adventure instead of shield ability. Because I, my, my character isn't strong enough to shield it consistently. Crazy. Mm. That's completely crazy. I did nothing. It's all good. Hey, funny bud. What you gonna do, dumbass? Do it again. Use your firefly skill. Holy shit, what can I hit? Okay. Uh, uh I hit you. Where am I super break? You see what I'm saying? Like, I could have done that but i had to shoot with adventure in does that make sense uh yo uh bro why does face take so long hold up yeah i really think people who take an rng single player pve gotcha game seriously are so cringe straight up i dude i think i think it's so cringe like, dude, dude, people, people want Honkai Star Rail to be like giga skill base. It's just, it's so fucking embarrassing, bro. It's like, bro, you play a game where you spend money and that's how you beat the content, right? Like, are we really gonna, are we really gonna pretend that it's a skill based thing, guys? Like, come on, dude, I, I can outweigh your skill by spending a hundred dollars. It's just dumb. Now I get it if you do it for fun, but taking it seriously. Oh God, it's so cringe. Did you watch Zolze Telos? Oh, Zolze Telos can suck my fucking dick, bro. I'm good. I think that person's a fucking shitbag. Let me rephrase that. I know they're a fucking shitbag. Uh, and Zolze Telos better hope to God uh, they don't piss me off. Uh, because I, I could straight up ruin that motherfucker. Nah, straight up piece of shit garbage channel. And I mean that all my life. All my life. Just dumb, 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 dumb motherfucker, bro. Irredeemable dumb motherfucker. Yeah, and it'll be great because uh, uh, at a certain point, no matter what, I'm going to talk about it. Uh, but I think Zolze Telus is one of the worst people in the entire community. Genuinely. Genuinely. And I'm glad you guys don't know him. Because they're not worth knowing. Yeah, why is attack autism? Because I'm retarded. Uh, yeah, new Roku video? Yeah, we'll get on it. We'll get on it. The theory crafter? Yeah. The AI, the AI theory crafter. Yep. Oh. 
Couldn't you use that logic with souls then? I could outskill uh, by leveling 50 plus levels or something? Yeah. That's the exact same thing I say about souls players. I mean, I, I will be real. I think sweats in general are like incredibly cringe. Like, I, I, for real. I, I think being sweaty in a game is just so fucking lame. Like, when, when you take the accolades of a video game and you apply them to your worth in real life, I find it just really fucking dumb, personally. Yeah. Ironic? How do you figure that's ironic? But yeah, I feel like uh, people's number one objective should be how much fun they can have in a game, not the accolades they can achieve them. Now, however, there is a part where you can, like, do both, where you can enjoy being a sweat. But I think the problem is, is that when sweats take their ideology and put it on other people and think that if they don't play this way, then they're just fucking stupid. I think it's just really fucking cringe. Yeah. Sweat does not equal paying attention. Uh, I don't know what the relevance of that comment was. In a single player game, sure, if it's competitive nature, then all that. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Like, if, if you want to shit talk for being grandmaster in league, you can. But just know that if you're a grandmaster in league and you work a minimum wage job, I'm still going to make fun of you. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're doing that shit for free, like, I'm, I'm going to shit talk you 100%. Like, these people who get Predator and Apex Legends and then they're collecting welfare every month, it's like, okay, bro, you might be grandmaster in the game, but in real life, you're a fucking failure. Yeah. Does that make sense? Look what Pokey say. Is Mr. Pokey here? Mr. Pokey. I made your mom sweaty last night. <laughs> Jesus, man. You just contracted like 38 sexual transmitted disease. And half of those I gave her. <clears throat> yeah, so I mean, hey, rip, rip Bozo. Get yourself checked out 100%. Uh, any chance of a collab? Y'all played some money together if you remember him. I keep it taco. Landed in Texas. No, we fucking didn't. No, we fucking didn't. How the fuck some fucking dumb motherfucker tweeted that dumb shit out? I was literally talking to Taco like three days. Oh, he has a connecting flight. What a fucking dumbass. That actually pissed me off. I th I actually got upset. I thought he was here. That actually pisses me off. Damn. Nah, bro, I had a connecting flight. That's dumb as shit. Nah, I want to hang out with that dude. I actually like Taco quite a bit. It's actually some really funny shit with Daco that I want to talk about, but I probably shouldn't. You know what? Yeah, it's fine. It doesn't need to be talked about. But yeah. Anyways. I just think I just think anybody who plays League that long can't be right in the head, bro. At a certain point, that's the problem with Taco that I that I have. I've known Taco a little bit. Like I, we and him have talked on and off for like a couple years. But, like, there's one thing I don't understand about him. I mean, anybody who plays League enjoys it that much and isn't a toxic piece of shit, there's got to be something off about him, guys. There's just got to be. There, there's, there, there's no way you can play that game for that long and be that happy playing the game. There's just no way. There's legit no way. Says you? Okay, yeah, I play a fuck ton of League, but I play, like, casual games. Like, dude, I'm saying, like, I'm saying, like, if you play, if you play ranked league, there's just no way. There's just no, there's no way you wake up in the morning and you smile. There's, there's absolutely no way. All right, let's do this. Dude, what a sick fucking visual. All right, uh, we're going to get into all this. Uh, you guys, let me know what you want to see. Uh, you guys, let me know the questions you want to ask and we're going to fucking get into it. And then, uh, yeah. I do want to. I do want to knock out this Wuthering Ways video real quick. This is the kick clip. I dunkle. Great. Yeah, I'm gonna get into this. I believe there was an LSF thread.
Let me check real quick. If you're going to comment on Wuwa State, would you take a look at your Twitter community? Uh, why? I Dunkel? Wait, your account has been permanently banned. Hold up, what does that mean? Your account has been permanently banned. Check inbox, measure more information. Visit inbox. Give me a second. Oh, I thought Hold up. Okay, yeah, apparently there was some suspicious activity on my account, and so that was a lie. We're good. It's all good. All right, cool. Yeah, we're all good. All right, cool. Let's get into it. Yeah, ain't no way. How'd you get banned on Reddit? No, apparently, like, my account was, like, compromised. So I just had to take care of it real quick. I would love to hear your opinion, I'd say. I am here to ask your honest opinion on the current state of Wuthering Waves. I was bored while thinking about this, so I ended up with probably writing more than I should about it. Uh, yeah, let's go into it. There we go. Yo, what up, boys? Uh, we are now one week away from version 1.1 and I kind of wanted to give you guys an account update um, and I also wanted to give you guys a, a my opinion oh my god Cal Charles don't don't talk the whole damn fucking video Jesus Christ let me go again hey what's up boys uh, we are now one week away from version 1.1 uh, weathering waves and I kind of wanted to give you guys an account update how I'm enjoying the game my opinion on the current game state my thoughts going forward and any other question that you guys have uh, that you have wanting answered in twitch chat uh, I'm gonna go over all of it uh, I'm, I'm aware that a lot of content creators are quitting weathering waves uh, and particularly M uh, but then again maybe he's just taking a break to 1.1 who knows um, but yeah I kind of want to give you guys my full honest unfiltered thoughts uh if you want someone who will lie to you please watch a different content creator uh, i'm going to tell you all of the pros i'm going to tell you all of the cons and if me saying bad things upsets you then please leave my channel all right thanks uh let's get into it all right so first things first uh, i want to show you guys my accolades so i am free to play i have not spent a single dollar on the entire game i've never bought the pass uh, I have never uh, purchased any of these gems. I have yet to buy the battle pass at all. Okay, I have spent zero dollars and I am UL 47. I could be UL 48. Um, I have quite a bit extra of the little juicy guys. I have 16 of these bad crystal solvents, which should be able to push me up to 48. However, I'm not in a rush. However, I am very excited to get UL 50 and UL 60. Those are my two current um goals for the game and i think the leveling for ul has been pretty fair so far and uh, i enjoy it quite a bit um i do have a question for you guys and that is do you really care about free-to-play content whatsoever uh, i'm thinking about becoming a light spender i'm thinking about perhaps spending five dollars on the daily pass and i'm thinking about um spending twenty dollars on the battle pass um just because i think curl games has done a very good job i understand i net them hundreds of thousands of dollars every single month by merely playing their game due to the amount of exposure that i bring to their game and uh yeah i think i do a very good job of covering the game however uh, i like this game quite a bit and i think me being able to build characters quicker by having the battle pass um or the daily pass would be great. However, I did confirm that there is no need to spend any money on this game uh, whatsoever due to the fact that the over-generosity from the game's uh, developers uh, have pretty much trivialized all content for the current game state. I have never once felt the urge to spend money out of necessity, out of necessity only out of uh, want to build characters quicker. But I did not need to do that. I've, I've had many, many, many different characters built. I want to show you guys these right now. 
Uh, I have almost every single character at level 70. Then I need my supports are level 60. Uh, being very fair with my resources, I haven't felt the need to level them up whatsoever, except for maybe holograms and all the other characters that I haven't wanted to play yet, I haven't built. I do think I do want to play Alto in the future, uh, but not for a long time. However, Kalcharo and Yinlin and Verena are a very, very, very fun team to play. Um, Havoc, Rover, Don, Jin, Tao, Chi, uh, Johnson are going to be great. I'm still building up these characters, getting them good to go for Team 2 for the tower. Um, for the holograms, I've beaten almost every single hologram in the game on uh, difficulty 4. Uh, I don't know if there's a way for me to pull that, those up. Uh, I think there is a way. Okay, yeah. So Tempest Memphis, I have one because I have a lightning team, so I don't feel like bothering with it. Uh, I will bother with Tempest Memphis uh, eventually once I get Jin C. But because this character has built an electro resistance, I don't really feel like wasting um, wasting materials to beat Tempest Memphis uh, to build an additional team at high skill caliber and I, or a high uh, investment level. I don't feel like doing that. I think it would be a lot better if I wait to get my Jin C and then I'll absolutely crush them. But uh, these holograms have been an absolute fucking joy to do. Uh, I've been enjoying them quite heavily. I think they're very well made. I think they're a lot of fun. I can't wait for more to be added into the game. Um, however, I really don't like the resistance system in the game. I feel like it doesn't let you use who you want to use, which is fine, I guess, for a game that's meant for you to build multiple teams, considering the team sizes are smaller. Uh, but it does make me very upset when I'm not able to use my Kalcharo and Yinlin to fight Tempest Mavis, but that's a very small gripe that I have. And I am looking forward to doing my Jin C, Spectro Rover, and Gian Zin team. I think that'll be a great time. I think it'll be very good. Uh, but yeah, so far for the difficulty, the balancing, and the endgame content, I am very, very, very pleased in all aspects of endgame. Uh, due to the fact that I haven't cleared everything very easily, very quickly, I think there's still a lot of time for me to grow on my account. I think there's a lot of goals for me to hit, and I think that's very good. Okay. Combat, very good. Uh, movement, very good. Exploration, very good. Once again, um, this might be a take that a lot of people don't understand. Uh, I think the combat is very fun. However, I don't play this game for the combat. Um, I do enjoy the combat, but the main reason why I do play this game is due to the fact of the exploration. I think the exploration aspect of this game is the best any gacha has ever done. I think it's the best any gacha ever will do until games like Project Mugen and Azure Pamelia. Uh, but we'll see because Azure Pamelia is going to have a huge issue with the fact that uh, they're adding flying into the game, which I think will actually actively hurt their exploration, uh, not aid it whatsoever. Um, yes. Uh, yeah, for version 1.0, I think they absolutely knocked it out of the park. However, I would agree that... Let me rephrase that. I can understand that people thought there wasn't that much content to do in the game. However, I think they felt that way because the content was so fun to do, they burnt through it very quickly. And I think I speak for everybody when we say we were so desperate for a game like this. We all played an absurd amount. Uh, I have 100%ed absolutely everything in the game as far as exploration, chess collecting, puzzle solving, all that. And I did it quite early on. It took me maybe about two and a half to three weeks. But I think that amount of exploration for a game that was completely free is actually quite good. Um, I am excited for 1.1. I know they're adding in a new area, which is going to be a snow mountain. I hope it's very intricate to explore, and I know they're adding in a new map. Uh, but I am very hopeful for the game's future. Uh, and yeah, uh, I believe there's going to be new boss modes as well. Uh, let's get into the elephant in the room. Uh, one of the biggest letdowns of this game is definitely the echo farming. Uh, I 1 million percent agree with that. However, uh, I do think this issue will be easily circumvented uh, with the events for echoes. Uh, with the way that they're doing um, event echoes, I think it's actually very good uh, because now, when I used to have no resources, now I have an abundance of them. Um, I have 94 of the yellows, 190 of the purples, and I can pretty much dump as many of these as I want and tune whatever the fuck I want and not really worry about it due to the new uh, Echo event that came out. And I'm sure many of those are coming in the future. HP, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Can I at least get one new roll? I'll go, I'm going to go one more time. Oh, gee, flat HP is fucking pain, bro. Can I get one more? Can this one actually not suck? Please, come on. Energy regen. Oh, Jesus. Okay, maybe Jansen needs heavy attack. I'm actually not sure. That, that seems fucking pain. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do one more just to prove a point. That I, I, and I can stop it any time. I just, can I get something good here? Can I, can, I get, can I get something good? What do you think? Oh my god, bro. Jesus, kill me, bro. Heavy's good on her? Okay, well now we have the heaviest attack in the fucking game. Uh, regardless. Yeah, I don't really have to worry about Echo uh, resource materials. It was very yeah, bad for a, for a while, but with a little bit of patience and the events coming out, I do think things are looking more optimistic uh, for how the Echo systems are going. Uh, and I'm pretty content with them. I am pretty content with them. I, I think the um, the Echo uh, Tassel Fields, I think it would be better if they just dropped more 
uh, EXP and tuners and less of the actual echoes themselves. Uh, or at least maybe just drop one echo and have it guaranteed to be like, oh, electric, electric. Uh, I don't really like the RNG bullshit on the echoes. And the reason why is, is because we already have the echo RNG on the echoes we farm out in the world. Uh, and those are free. So why would I pay currency to get more of the ones that are going to be free? It, it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, so yeah, hopefully they just make it be, these are the right ones. And then, you know, you still have to fall victim to RNG substats, but maybe you get an electro electro, but then you also get the fusion fusion. Maybe you didn't want the fusion fusion like the other gotcha systems have. Uh, but yeah, I, I think that the, the randomized echoes on the tacit fields just feel fucking stupid. Uh, I think the echo should be increased a little bit more and uh, do less RNG bullshit. I understand the need for it. Uh, I understand the need for it, but I don't think that the RNG bullshit for this is necessarily needed because at the end of the day, we'll still have to fall victim to being a slave of substats for any min maxers. Great. Um, let's talk about 1.1. I don't believe we're getting a developer live stream. And yes, I'm very disappointed with the company. Uh, it would have been very exciting to get that. Uh, I was really looking forward to that. Uh, however, they did knock it out of the park with a trailer. And I think their graphics and coverage for letting us know what's happening in 1.1 is great. Uh, but I would be lying to you if I told you I wasn't upset that we weren't getting some little show, um, telling us what's going to be coming in store for 1.1. However, it's most likely due to the fact they realized they completely fucked 1.0. They probably already had the 1.1 dev live stream already made, and they probably scrapped it because it was probably just as cringe as 1.0 after p p players' feedback, and they weren't able to get people to fill in like the voice actors who need a voice for it, uh, and they weren't able to, uh, I guess, provide us with a dev live stream um, in a proper time frame. Uh, I expect to see one in 1.2. If not, I'll be greatly disappointed, and I'll talk about that in the future video. Uh, yeah. Overall, I know a lot of people are saying the interest of Wuthering Waves now is less than what it was when it launched. Uh, yeah, that's what happens when a video game comes out. Uh, it's not really a red flag. I do also think the game is making a considerable, a considerable amount of more money. Uh, I know the internal team was having a lot of issues being able to sponsor creators, and now I know they're not having those issues sponsoring creators, which I feel like is very good, which makes me feel that the internal systems for Wuthering Waves is on an uptick, it's on an uptrend, and I do think that the company's future has a lot of promise. Uh, I believe that Gen C and Yin Lin are going to sell quite well. I do think that Wuthering Waves will be the second best selling gacha game of June 2024, and I think it's going to do great and show the promise that the company has in the future. Uh, the character balancing seems good. I believe the four stars are just as good as the five stars, especially the higher constellation that you get them. However, the five stars still feel special for me. I'm very happy with my Kalcharo. I'm very happy with my Yin Lin. I'm very happy with my Johnson. Um, yeah. Overall, I do think the game, I would have liked it to have more content. I would have really liked that. Uh, I understand other creators who say that the game should have came out later because the game would have had more content. However, these creators are stupid and don't understand development costs. Uh, and what development costs means is, yes, they could have just made the game fucking perfect. However, they did not have the funds to do that. They needed to release the game a little bit early. That way they can net some of the losses. And I believe the game has already recouped uh, all the money they spent on developing the game. And I now think they can take that money and put it into the game and make it even better. Yeah, uh, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Uh, Zelda Zone Zero has moved their developer live stream to be on the date of 1.1. I will be reacting to that. I will also be playing Zelda Zone Zero. I will also be playing Wuthering Waves. Uh, I do believe that this company is trying very, very hard to compete with Wuthering Waves, and I think that's fine. I think uh, Wuthering Waves and Zelda Zone Zero, I think competition is going to breed success, and I do think it's good to have healthy competition, and you for yourself can decide which game you like more. Uh, Wuthering Waves currently is my favorite gacha game. Uh, Honkai Star Rail was good, uh, but I have a couple gripes with the game that I'm currently experiencing. Not too many. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it definitely feels, um, that you can make up for your lack of account progress a lot more in Wuthering Waves, which I really enjoy. Whereas Honkai Star Rail, you are kind of just like, well, I, I really hope you get good relics. Because you can only press your buttons in a certain order so much. And you can only want to do the same fight over and over again hoping that you crit or hoping the bosses don't crit so many times before you lose your fucking mind however i do still think honkai star rails uh a great game however 2.3's epilogue let me down a little bit just because it was kind of boring and i think it would have just been better tacked on to the end of 2.2 it wasn't really that much and it was kind of just like a pump fake and uh yeah we all knew that sparkle wasn't actually gonna plant fucking bombs because that was foreshadowed in her trailer where she was shooting a fucking gun with blanks anybody with a fucking eye could have fucking seen that shit uh but yeah um 
the game is very good. The game is very fun. Uh, I'm not feeling negative about it whatsoever. I don't plan on leaving the community whatsoever. And I think the company's doing a great job running their game. Uh, that's pretty much my thoughts. There's obviously a lot of things that's going to be fixed. I do hope they go back and retroactively fix their story quest. I do hope they fix their voice acting. Uh, but other than that, I think the game is great and has very good promise. And now I want to open this up to the chat. Chat, is there any questions you have about my thoughts on Wuthering Waves or any viewpoints that you want to uh, put out there that you think aren't being properly addressed? Uh, Wuwa 1.2 drip marketing tomorrow. Maybe what character do you think it'll be? I'm hoping it's Geshu Lin. Uh, performance so bad. My performance has been great. I've been hold. I've been told a lot of performance issues have been fixed. 2.1 was good after it became a mess. Okay. Uh, the shinies. Yeah, the shinies are a letdown 100%. Them being in fixed locations are very cringe. I hope they make more of those. And uh, I hope they make them sporadic and not just go this area and you get them. Poles are dry. Um, no, I think I think 1.0 uh, realistically was the most generous 1.0 patch of any gacha game, AAA gacha game, uh, that's ever been released. Um, however, I do agree that the initial surge could have made you think that they're dry, but uh, we actually got quite a lot. Uh, I'm still sitting on a excess of, let's see here, 16,900. And I also got a Yin Lin and I got her String Master on 1.0. Uh, and I also got, let, let's just be real. I got a Calcharo, a Yin Lin, her signature weapon, a Jian Zin, and a Verena. Um, what, three copies of Tao Chi, three copies of, what's this guy, Baizu, what the fuck his name is? Uh, the Fedora guy, we got a fucking Alto. Uh, yeah, uh, we got just a lot of fucking shit. Um, I don't think I've ever seen any gacha game ever give out that much ever. Uh, and I also lost the 50 50. And I did lose the 50 50 uh, to Yin Lin, right? So, like, I didn't even get lucky, right? Yin Lin took me 92 pulls, right? Uh, the String Master, I got in 22 pulls, right? And with all doing all of that, uh, I still have 16,900 um, Asteroid left. How you got so many gems? Because I'm very, very, very careful with them, and I 100% completed the game. Yeah. Uh, they gave pulls out of necessity? Yeah. The fact remains is that we were still given the pulls. It doesn't really matter under what pretense the pulls were given. Um, we still got the pulls, right? Uh, so that argument is kind of stupid. We still got it. Uh, and Yin Lin still looks fine as fuck. I also think the characters look great. Okay, yeah. Any other questions about that at all? But yeah, I think I think the currents that we're getting is quite a lot, and I've heard we're giving we're getting a fuck ton more in one point one as well. Uh, what do you think the weakest thing about Wuthering Waves is, and how can they improve it? Just the story. Yeah, the story and the voice acting. Uh, make the pacing for the beginning a lot more enticing. I think the first two hours of gameplay is very important, and I think the immersion breaking voice acting for English players is very weak. And I think they need to go back and fix that one million percent. Uh, I'm a I'm a player who understands one million percent that the story aspect is probably one of the most important things for games like these. Uh, and so that that for me is my number one priority is fix the voice acting, uh, fix the story for the beginning, and get Act One, Act Two, Act Three, like Act Five, Act Six, uh, Gion story quest, Yinlin story quest. They knocked it out of the fucking park because I know they have it in them. Just fix up the beginning. You were supporting them too much and being biased way too much, saying they knocked it out of the park is a delusional statement. Okay. How? How? I want you to tell me what I'm being delusional on, and I want you to tell me um, what I said they knocked out of the park that I'm being disingenuous on. Good. The launch was awful with how the game was run. Uh, I believe I've said multiple times that the launch was not good. Two echo level up system. I have also said the echo system is not good. Both of the things that you just said, I have already covered. I don't know if you've listened to any stream or the video that I just made. Uh... But I think you are listening to this stream muted. So I don't know where you think I was saying that. But I said the echo level up system was bad. The events are helping making up for that. I, I quite literally showed you how much resources I have now. Right? And in 1.1, they're going to fix it even more. Three, English for EN having little to no investment. Uh, I also quite literally just said the issues with the EN voice acting. 
I also said the English side struggling. This was already talked about. So I really don't know if you're listening to this video or this stream muted, but these things that you're saying, for they are giving rewards and stuff our mouth and not complain. I quite literally also said that it doesn't matter under which the rewards are given under for the pretenses. The fact remains is that we are still getting rewards. Everything that you just said, I have already talked about previously in the video. Dexter, do, do you understand that? You get that I've already talked about all of that. You, you can go back in the VOD and you can find me talking about each one of those things. Okay, you keep typing and I think that you're not listening. Five, they're giving even more rewards for the fucking lack of patch notes and the lack of quality of life at 1.1. So I said once again, it doesn't really matter the pretenses of which the rewards are being given. We are still getting the rewards, which is great. They could have given us nothing like other companies do. Now, I want you to stop typing, and I want you to just confirm that you're listening. Because at this point, I think that you're a bot. Yeah, so you are a reward over gameplay. No, that was absolutely not what I said whatsoever. You need both. Okay? Now, I want you to just, I need you to prove that you're a real human. I need you to type, I am human right now. I just say I am human. Can you type that? You got it. Just type I am human. Okay, Dextra. I just need you to type the word I am human. Okay, and yes, bro, I'm a real person. Great. So now... I need you to acknowledge this next question, okay? You understand everything that you just typed I've already brought up as an issue? Do you get that? Or no? Because the way that you're typing is making me think that you don't think that I, I've brought that up. I've already brought all of those things up. I have made videos on all of those topics. Are you aware that I've already covered all those? Because you're presenting them as if you're not aware of that. I took a over positive response in this part of the stream. Okay, I'm going to just, I'm going to assume that English isn't your first language. And I'm, I'm going to let you do your thing. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I think... I'm going to assume that English ain't your first language because uh, honestly, I don't know what the fuck's going on with that one, guys. Uh, yeah. Um, anyways, Jesus Christ. All right. Anything else? Uh, I think his point is that Kuro didn't knock it out of the park because of those issues. Uh, I think they knocked it out of the park considering those issues. I think they could have flopped a lot harder, but I think that the company did a very successful job of putting out the flames very quickly. I think another game company would have left you till 1.1 to fix those issues. I'm actually very, fairly happy knowing that if we do have a consistent issue in the game, they'll fix it on the spot rather than waiting till a later patch. Hope that makes sense. Uh, a little bit optimistic in my opinion, but I can see your point. Uh, what do you think I'm being overly optimistic about? Uh, and give me a reason to be pessimistic. Tell me why I should be pessimistic regarding this company in this game state. Oh, shit, I'm in bed responding. My apologies. No, you're all good, man. You're all good. Yeah, uh, can you tell me a reason why pessimism would be deserved right now? Because for me, so far, everything that I've wanted addressed has been addressed and or fixed or being fixed. And that's pretty much all I want is transparency with the company. Uh, I will also be very disappointed if we don't have drops on Twitch, which I do believe we should have drops. And I also want those drops to be available for everybody in the category. But that's pretty much the only thing that players want. And I think that I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I have my finger on the pulse for that. And I am curious if chat would agree or not. 
I, I don't really think people need direct fixes, but I do think what they want is transparency and understanding that the issues that we have have been noted and a solution is being resolved. And to my knowledge, there's not a single thing in the game that we have an issue with that has not been acknowledged and or fixed. A am I correct on that? Is there anything that they're turning a blind eye to? Yeah, you got it, man. Uh, answer this, Techie? Sure. Here are some points that you can give your opinion on. What's your opinion on the depth of the elusive realm? Uh, I think it's very limiting, and I feel like more characters need to have their own uh, type of gameplay style for depths of the elusive realm, which has been announced for 1.1 that they're already adding that. Do you think every hologram boss is good? No, I have an issue with Tempest Mephis, uh, where the Electro Res makes it feel a little bit limiting. I want to use my Calcharo Yinlin, and unfortunately, I'm not able to do that. I mentioned that earlier in the stream. What do you think of the idea of adding so much endgame that it gives people who want to play the game for a long time something to do, while not forcing on other players who play it? Um, I think the thing is, the moment that you add something to a game that players are going to feel pressured to play it so i don't think there's this ideology that you can just put something in the game and say well if you don't want to play it just don't play it i feel like players will need to do that so finding a finding a healthy middle ground where everyone can enjoy the new content when it's put out uh would be great however i do know that this is a gotcha game and these games are majorly casual and so to i mean obviously would it be great for them to have infinite end game yes but i don't know the plausibility of that and I think that if they make too many game modes too quickly without receiving player feedback from the pre-existing ones to limit test and beta test, then they could out put out other game modes that aren't as optimal as the other ones, which could lead to player disgruntlement for the mass amount of content being put out that people don't enjoy because they put out too much too quick. And I think for a 1.0 launch, enough was put in to make everybody uh, at least have enough to whet their appetite, enjoy, and understand what Wuthering Wave is going to be about. Hopefully that makes sense. I have a delay on stream, so give me some time to respond. Better yet, Steorg, just make a video instead. But hopefully that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, anything else? Do you think they should make it so you can use Echoes to level other Echoes instead of using the Echo EXP to level them, and why? Yes. Uh, I do believe that. Uh, I do think they do already do that, though. I do believe that if you use a leveled up Echo, you get some of the experience back. However, I do think it would be nice for the five-star Echoes to give a small amount of experience towards leveling up, an, up, 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 up another Echo. I think that would be very good. Or to at least give us something other than Fuse 5 to have a chance at making another Echo. I think that's kind of shitty. I think it's kind of lazy. Uh, yeah, I do think it would be nice for five-star Echoes to give us something a little bit better than a uh, one in five chance to get, us, or, uh, uh, to get five of them and make another Echo thingy. Yeah. How do you think they should go about fixing the Echo system? Um, I, I mentioned that prior, where I do think that the Echo system for the events can actually work very well because the double drop rewards actually makes leveling Echoes feel a little bit less shitty. Uh, yeah, I think just overstacking the double to triple Echo events can help a lot. Uh, but yeah, for the Echo materials that we need, uh, I do think that the 1.5 to 2xing them permanently could just be fine yeah to make the tacit fields not feel like shit that's the biggest thing they need to do is just fix the tacit field right and they fix the tacit field by making the echoes that drop not be randomized and just to give us you know one at one electric one fire fire right or one electric or one electric energy regen uh, and less randomized echoes that are taking away from the overall value of the polls because they shouldn't be giving us things that we can farm for free behind a pay gated wall. It makes no fucking sense. Uh, and then, yeah, I think overall increasing the amount of tuners and echoes by a factor of 1.5 to 2x and then giving us events that make them doubled uh, would also be great. But yeah, I think the bottom line is too low for the echoes right now. However, I'm only speaking from UL40. Maybe it gets better at 60. I'm not sure. And uh, yeah, I think they should drop it from 60 to 40. As a Genshin player, when you play a lot, you lack content. What is different in Wuthering Waves content-wise? Nothing. Besides the fact that you can go around and farm Echoes. Uh, you do have a ability to farm meaningful, potentially meaningful resources in the game that can make your account stronger even when the content slows down. Right? And I think moving around is a lot more fun. And so I do think the movement's better. So yeah, I guess uh, the always permanent ability of being able to make a, or having the ability to make a meaningful upgrade to your account uh, that you can farm for free uh, outside of EXP and tuners. Yeah. 
How do I get better echo roll RNG? Oh, God. Ah, uh, shit. Well, they are making it to where when you farm echoes in 1.1, it's going from an 80% drop chance to a one. I think a 100% drop chance to get a 5-star every time, I believe. I believe when you kill an echo and you're the proper data bank low, you just get a 5-star guaranteed now. I could be wrong. Oh, data bank 21, yes. Yeah, so data bank 21 will guarantee you a 5-star echo every single time you kill one. So I think that's an amazing, an amazing fix. An amazing fix. Did Kuro say anything about fixing the voice acting English? Uh, I believe there was rumors of them talking about that. Confirmed or otherwise, I'm not entirely sure, but I believe so. Uh, yeah, and I also think the music needs to be improved as well. Uh, is there anything else? Do you think the rewards of Elusive Realm isn't as appealing as Aegis Star Sim Uni? Um, to be honest, my experience with the Elusive Realm right now is very limited. Uh, and I wouldn't be able to speak on that confidently. Um, but I'll look into that and then we can talk about it next update video. It's probably one one It's giving 1k Asteroid. I think that's quite good. Yeah, I think 1k Asteroid is quite good. I know Sim Uni and HSR, though, gave a lot more a lot quicker. Uh, so maybe more ways to build and maybe sure they could upgrade those a little bit. Yeah, anything else? Do you think adding too much diversity is bad to the game? Uh, yeah, I can alienate your audience. I think it's better to focus on uh, focus on your demographic rather than trying to get a little bit for everybody. I know a lot of mainstream games are doing that right now, though. What do you think they're going to do for the data bank when they release the next area after Jinzo? Uh, I don't really think anything needs to be done. If, when I kill, maybe maybe more frequency of echo drops. I can foresee them making echo drops automatically going into your inventory because I think collecting them over and over and over again might get a little bit tiring, kind of like what they did for Genshin Impact for picking up artifacts. Uh, but yeah, once I once everything's five star, I don't think there's ever reason to not pick up an echo. So I think they should just automatically add it to your inventory uh, if they want to streamline a little bit more. We'll put one info on all events to vote. Yeah, I've already looked at those. Uh, what do you think of the music? I feel like it's not bad to be much better. Yeah, I agree. I think the music could do some work. It's good, but it gets a little bit sleeper, which is kind of nice for relaxing. But uh, yeah, uh, once I've seen how much they have to offer in PGR, I think they're only scratching the surface of what they can do right now. Uh, what do you think about the rate they're distributing standard polls? I think it's quite bad, especially since they don't give them for ascending characters. Um, yeah, I do think leveling up every character, every 20 level should reward you with a single poll. I think that'll also make people want to uh, build multiple characters, which I think is good for overall longevity of play. Yeah, I think they should add that 100%. I'll do like I'll do like three more questions and we'll call it. Anything else? Uh, are you gonna switch back to EN voice? Um, yeah, I will. However, I've been really enjoying the JP. The JP is just knocked it out of the fucking park. It's so goddamn good. Just in the game for a while, drop for a while because of the issues, but I am suddenly thrown back with them overclock. I don't know what that means in this game. Do you think Kuro is going to solve the issues with the terminology, or do I just swallow that up? Uh, I do think all of the system running errors will be fixed however i do think there's also an abundance of players using um pcs that are too like, like I, I think people hold up one second it's really fucking hot i do think there is an abundance of players who are using pc and phones underneath the required system specs who are complaining about the game not running well and it's like yeah well what do you expect okay if you were to run world of warcraft on a game boy color it probably wouldn't run well too either and I think that's a massive issue, that people are spoiled they're, and they just want everything while also having nothing, and it just doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah. Uh, what's your thoughts on their co-op? I've had seamless co-op. I've had no issues whatsoever. Zero. Can't run well on Samsung 20 Plus from Fob and Mtashed. Uh, I have no idea. It's it's running well on my shit. Once again, the, the system running errors, guys, um, I'll be real. I have never had an issue. I've seen issues, but I, I can't effectively speak well on that matter because I haven't had issues. Uh, the only system the issue that I've had so far is memory leak. That's it. But I've experienced memory leak in quite a lot of games. So it's, it's very hard for me to talk about that one. And I think it would be better talking to a different person about that issue because as for me, I, I don't want to talk about how bad it is and I don't want to act like I'm one of you guys because I'm not. I've had no issues so far. I'm not poor. You know, my phone is current gen. My PC is future gen, and uh, I, I don't want to lie to you guys and try to say, like, oh, yeah, man, I had all these issues. I, I don't want to be disingenuous to you guys. It's just an issue I haven't had, so I don't feel comfortable speaking on it. I can only give you my experience, and that's it. Hopefully that makes sense. Flex tone? No, I'm not even saying that to flex. I just I need to have full transparency with my audience. Like, you guys know I'm a fucking millionaire. Uh, I never hide that fact at all. And I never will hide that fact. However, we did drop down from 22,000 subs to 11,000 subs. So, you know, we are getting pretty getting pretty low there. We'll probably drop down to 6,000 subs tomorrow. It's been fun. It's been fun. 
I would ask, I would have something to ask you if you clarify it, but if possible, I would have spurred to feed you in a DM about the issue. Uh, I'm going to keep it real, man. Um, and I'm going to say this, and I don't want you to be upset. Uh, I am way too big to answer your problem um, personally. And I'm not saying that for any other reason than it's the truth. Because if every person in chat were to DM me personally and expect a response, I just couldn't do that. Right? I don't have a team that works with me to help me answer all those questions. I have some of the mods on my Discord. You can message them. But, um, yeah, if I were to give people the ability to say, I have a problem with you, Tecto, and I want to talk to you personally, uh, that would lead other people to think that they would also get that same treatment. And that could cause me to living a fucking miserable life. So, yeah. Uh, you can talk to somebody else about it. Uh, but it would just be, that would, that's that's impossible for me to sustain at the size that I'm at. Can I get some new DM Seki? Uh, no. However, the other day I did put out a post talking about how much I like getting my dick sucked, and this chick sent me four videos of her sucking dick, and uh, that was awesome. And she said, "Hire me for the job," and I said, "No, I'm good." Yeah, no, I'm good. All right. Uh, anything else? So why do you shit on Genshin so much when Wuwa has the same lack of content issues? Seems hypocritical. Okay, let's talk about it. Uh, so first of all, um, I'm really excited to talk about this one. And let me tell you why I'm not hypocritical. Okay? So, this is version 1.0 of the game. Second of all, this company has addressed every single issue that the players have had. Whether that's balance, server connectivity... Lack of content, unsatisfactory content, and they have addressed it, fixed it, or are planning to fix it. Genshin Impact continuously ignores the community, ignores the issues, ignores the content issues, and turns a blind eye to it. The number one thing I value in a company is transparency and a commitment to their players. Kuro Games has that. Hoyoverse does not have that. Does that make sense? It took Hoyoverse three years to give players three pulls for the three-year anniversary. Genshin admitted its primary focus is casuals and story-driven content. Yes, Korean Harris. And they told us that after two years. Uh, I know exactly what type of game Wuthering Waves is. And I know that when there's an issue, when I have a question, it's going to be answered. Okay. Kuro advertises game is for the hardcore. Um, can you show me that? Can you show me that? Let, let me know. Let me know where your sources are. That even you literally said difficult combat with holograms and stuff. Uh, well, the holograms are difficult, but can you show me where Kuro advertised their game is for the hardcores? Let Let me know. Let me know where your proof is of that, because I, I would like to see that. I'll give you how, how much time do you need? Also, me saying something versus a company saying something is very different. Do you, do you have proof of that, Korean? Can you just give me a yes or no? Not directly, but you yourself said Kuro was trying to balance the game between hardcore and casuals. Me saying something and a company saying something is very differently. Uh, it's very different. I'm not the company. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, so what you're saying is you have no evidence of that and you just made it up? So you can't say shit about Hoyo either? How? How? Because you're interpreting their vision? Yeah, me giving you my interpretation, I can do on either game. However, me saying something versus a company saying something is very different. Your argument makes no sense. So, so what, what's the point that you're trying to get across? Because I, I think this whole, I think you're trying to do this whole gotcha moment 
and uh, you're you're kind of just shooting blanks. The point is you're hypocritical as fuck. No, I'm not. And everything you've said here right now doesn't lead to me being hypocritical as fuck. The only thing that it leads to is that you have a comprehension issue. And that's it. That's legit. That's the only thing that you are proving right now is that you don't understand what is happening. Curl can do no wrong, but everything Hoyo does is bad. Okay. So I'm going to say this again very slowly. All right. Right, I'm going to say this again very, very, very slowly. Okay, and hopefully you can understand it. Okay? Transparency of developers and companies is very important to myself and the players. Kuro Games has been very transparent, apologetic, and has shown the company as well as the player base what their plans are for the future. Hoyoverse has not done that. They have left us in the dark for four years. Does that make sense? Transparency for a company that fires 100 plus new hires so they don't have to make a payout for salaries. Can you show proof of that? And also... Uh, I, I will also just say this. Uh, let's let's keep it real. Um, you watch Jujutsu Kaisen. You use an iPhone. You use a smartphone. Those are made in sweatshops in China by underpaid labor or no paid labor. Um, I don't want you to act like you're the moral grandstand and that you will only use things that are humanely made. And also, even if this were to be true the only thing that i really care about is is the game good and do i know what's happening with the company you're also linking reddit and jihu as a source okay the fact that these fresh from over a year ago the fact that these freshmen over 100 people were fired because entry level requirement is three to five years of experience proves the hiring condition system is broken so you linked me a nine upvote comment post of gotcha gaming which is from Gui Phil one year ago, interview of two unlucky individuals on the context of the recent mass firings and Curl Games developer and the overall difficulty that enters the industry. In I, I don't really know what you think a Reddit article is going to do right now, man, but yeah, this is also in a language that I don't understand. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it a buck. Uh, I, I really don't know if you thought you cooked with that. Uh, but that's in Chinese. It's from a year ago. It's from a barely upvoted Reddit post, and you're labeling this as if it's the law. Here's my theory. I think you're a hoyo cuck. Okay, hypocritical fuck. Here's my theory. I think you're a hoyo cuck. That's what I think. And I think you're trying to get me with this hypocrisy, but there's been no hypocrisy committed. And if there is, I'm once again keeping your logs up Show me where I have been hypocritical. Because I can write it out. I literally gave you evidence of Curl being a scum-ass company. Uh, no, what you did was is give me a barely upvoted Reddit thread and a link to a website that's in Chinese. But not surprising you're defending a scum company because you yourself is scum. So the moment that you result to insults, I know that you know that you're wrong and you know that you've lost. <clears throat> okay, hilarious. Coming from the guy who calls Ratsu ugly fuck. Well, yeah, because he is an ugly fuck. Right? That was me just, you know, shooting a shot. But he is an ugly fuck. That's not really shit talking. That's kind of just like saying the facts. You know what I mean? Facts are facts. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, so anything else? So you lost the argument? You think so? Oh, uh, no, you lost. No. No, I think you lost. No, -uh. you lost. You're the loser. Ha <laughs> ha, loser. Ha <laughs> ha, loser, loser. Guys, everybody point at Korean horrors and laugh. 
But yeah, whatever. No point talking to a brick wall. Okay. Anyways, yo, have fun in the morning when you work at Burger King. Toxic fucking shit. Bro, you came you came to the stream. I had your logs pulled up in 100% 4K. I dismantled every single point that you have. You used a Reddit thread in Chinese and said, oh, you don't speak Chinese? Oh, well, that's because you're hypocritical. Uh, you're just, you're an idiot. Do you, do you get that? At least I didn't get divorced? Oh, hey, man, great. That's awesome. Hey, good for you, man. Hey. There you go, man. Man, yo, dude, good for you, bro. Damn, dude. Good for you. That's awesome. I bet you have a smoking hot babe girlfriend. And I bet you have sex all the time. Yeah, I bet you come a whole bunch. And I bet you have a huge dick. You deserve anything bad that happens to you IRL. Yeah? Do you want me to kill myself? Do, do you want me to kill myself? I pray. Uh, hey, man. I feel like you're a little bit biased, man. I feel that you're a little bit biased. I think you're upset, and I think you came into this argument understanding how much you dislike me, right? And I think that you're just a little bit unreasonable because I think I've been more than fair with the points you brought up. And I think no matter what I was going to say, you were going to say that I was wrong even though I gave you my logic for everything. We're both biased then? Why? Well, why wouldn't I like you? I don't even know who you are. You followed me today, man. I don't, I don't even know who you are, bro. How would I know who you are? And here's the thing. As far as biases go, I'm saying you're a Kuro simp. Um, are you saying I'm a Kuro simp because I just like the game? And because I like the company? Is that why I'm a simp? Because I like it, right? So the thing is, is that my like is that I'm able to hold this company accountable and they themselves hold themselves accountable. Hoyoverse does not hold themselves accountable for anything. So hopefully that makes sense. So you got everything out of your system or is there anything else you want to say? They release a half-baked game, brother. Uh... Okay. So tell me a gotcha release that you think wasn't half-baked. Genshin wasn't bad, even though you shit on. Okay, so you say Genshin Impact is a perfectly made game from 1.0. Okay, so how about the uh, how about the events for 1.0? How about the co-op for 1.0? How about the bugs for 1.0? How about the lack of content for 1.0? Better than Wuwa? Well, let's just let's just ignore Wuwa for a little bit. Let's just ignore Wuwa. You say they released a half-baked game. You think Genshin was good to go on 1.0? Let's just, let's just ignore Wuthering Waves. Come on, you got this. Be a big boy. Let's just ignore it for a little bit. Let's just ignore it for a little bit. Okay, so you think you think 1.0 Genshin was great? No, no, no. Hold up, hold up. You got this, man. You know, let's be a big boy. Let's just take Wuthering Waves out of the situation. Wuthering Waves isn't here right now. Okay, let's just ignore it. Okay, you got this. Can you listen? Okay, so you're telling me that Genshin Impact was just fully cooked on 1.0. I want to make sure that's what you're saying. Come on, you got this. 
let's not let's not argue opinions here. Let's just talk in reality. Okay, let's not talk with emotions here. Let's just talk with logic. Okay, let's just let's talk about the facts. Close to perfect. Okay, so you think Genshin Impact was a perfect 1.0 release? Okay. So why did they release the game with 120 resin? We're gonna go. We're gonna go through each piece. We'll go through it bit by bit. Why did they only release the game with 120 resin? So why didn't Wuwa release with Resident Overflow if they can copy off Hoya? Okay, I'm going to try this really hard. Try really hard here. I need you to just focus on Genshin here for a little bit. Okay? Okay, little guy? I'm not sure if you're like 12 years old or something. Uh, but your comprehension skills are very low. Okay? So let's just let's quit being a little, a little angry guy here. And let's just try to talk. Okay? Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm going to try really hard here. You keep on you keep on talking about Kuro. Let's just focus on let's just focus on Genshin, okay? Let's just focus. Let's just focus here real quick, okay? Can you do that? Okay. And first of all, you say Hoyo lit up the ground for Kuro games. Breath of the Wild laid out the groundwork for Genshin Impact. Okay? Let's not act like it's completely innovative. Okay? So here are all the bugs. Right? Why is there a bug thread, bug mega thread 1.0 uh, for Genshin Impact if you told me it's a near perfect game? If this is a near perfect game, why do you think that this bug mega thread is this long? Because you like using Reddit articles as your source. So now I would like to also use Reddit articles as my source. So if you think the game launched with no issues whatsoever, why do you think this exists? Out of curiosity. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, why do you think the game released with 120 resin? Why do you think there wasn't any condensed resin? Why do you think the event uh, issues were massively negatively received? Uh, why do you believe that the co-op experience was fucking terrible? How players ran out of experience or uh, things to actually do meaningfully uh, within two weeks of the actual game and everybody was waiting for 1.1 within two weeks of the game actually coming out. And I remember it very quickly, uh, very clearly. Okay, uh, but but I think the problem is here those are not game-breaking issues. You're comparing apples to oranges. Okay, so you're... Okay, here we go. All right, let's, let's, let's go again. I'll, I'll break it down for you, man. Okay, you're, you're, you're starting to make me lose a little bit of hope here. I don't think... I, I think this lays out a bad precedent for my chat because I don't think you're being reasonable. I don't think you have the ability to be rational, and I don't think that you are sound of mind. I think that you are actually a crazy person and I need you to show me that you have the ability to comprehend what it is that I'm saying. Okay? Because right now, you're not doing that. You're getting caught up in your feelings and you're being over-emotional. And you're once again resulting to insults. Okay? I really think you need to take a step back. I want you to breathe here for a little bit. Okay? I understand that maybe talking to me is making you a little bit upset, but I need you to breathe. Okay? You got this. Once again, you keep on saying hypocritical fuck, and then you're not showing me any way that I'm being a hypocritical fuck. I, I, I hope that you know that. Because right now, I assure you, if you would have caught my ass, then my chat would have already gone caught. But a lot of people think that my chat is an echo chamber, and they're not. They call me out bullshit over and over and over again. I literally prove you are hip hypocritical fuck above. Okay, now chat, I want you to be just real here real quick. Did any of you guys see that happen? Because I don't I don't remember having that. I don't remember seeing that at all. Maybe maybe I missed the stream, but I never saw that. I never saw that. Did Hoyo have to compensate scamming JP players for weapon mistranslation? Okay, once again, trying really hard to focus on Genshin Impact here, right? Because we're talking about Genshin. Do you want to talk about Genshin or do you only want to talk about Wuthering Waves? Well, what do you want to do? Do you, do you want to 
do you want to what do you want to do you want to talk about Kuro or do you want to talk about Genshin? Okay. I'm comparing Wuwa to Genshin. Okay. Great. So if you want to have that conversation again, uh I believe I've already made a video on this. <sighs> Wuthering Waves versus Genshin Impact. Do I have one of these? Okay, great. All right. Look at Bat Bat. So if if you want to go over this topic, I'm gonna I'm gonna at you in chat. Here. I really don't feel like continuing the conversation with you about this because it's a topic that I've already addressed. Right? I have a video on it. You can go watch it, but I, but I do think you are demonstrating and I appreciate you being a part of this video experience how how truly out of your mind these players are who get so upset when people enjoy company transparency versus company blackout. Okay? Uh, and I think that makes you very angry. Yeah, you're a hypocrite. End of story. Please, Twitter gods, get rid of this bald fuck. Okay. All right, Korean horse. Um, what I'm going to do, because you've given me so much content, um, I'm going to take a screenshot of your logs, and I'm going to go into my bathroom, and I'm going to give you a cum tribute on your logs, right? Because your chat has made me so excited. Uh, and I, I have a, I have a de degradation fetish, and you keep on calling me hypocritical, and that gives me an erection each time you call me that, right? So I'm gonna blow a load all over these logs, and uh, yeah, I'll send you a screenshot of that. Okay. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah. So, anyways, uh, that's kind of what the average user experience is when you let them know, hey, I like this because of this, and then they go. Ah! <laughs> Oh, but, 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 hypocritical fuck, hypocritical fuck. Oh, I proved you're a hypocrite. I, I mean, nobody else saw it, but I proved it. Ban? Nah, I'm good. Those type of dudes are the reason why I have content forever. I mean, that guy took a 20-minute video and made it a one-hour video. Uh, yeah. Those people are fucking just pure fucking pure retards. Uh, anyways, yeah, uh, great vid. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, yeah, if you think I'm a hypocritical fuck, please leave me a comment. I would love to address all of it. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's about it. Oh, Jesus. That one was painful. That guy was just fucking dumb. That guy was like, only had one ability and he kept on spamming it. And I was like, counter, counter. And he's like, no, but I, but I said the word. Why isn't he, well, why isn't he, why isn't he getting upset? Oh, Jesus. Dude, I swear to God, like these YouTube Twitch needs to start paying me a fucking salary, bro. I don't feel like babysitting for free. What a fucking dumbass. Uh, have you heard that they're working with Vanguard back now? I have no idea what that means. It is crazy how these Genshin dumb fucks have followed me to a new game, even though they always say how they never want to watch my content, uh, but then they watch all of my content. That's wild, right? Like, oh, I hate Tectone. Watches every one of his streams. Watches every one of his videos. <sighs> Genshin mistranslated weapons. Bad artifact weapon translation. This video tells us a couple artifact sets in a weapon that were badly translated and what those sets weapons actually do. No shot. All right, yo, sup? So I why these mistranslated items are worse, better than you think. Just finished making a video earlier today, and then I had to make two videos the day before that. Find out these things, but if you'd like to let me know of something that I may have missed, feel free to DM me on Discord. It's a lot easier for me to check that shit, or leave the first thing that we are going to talk about is this item right here called the Witsith. Genshin had these same issues. I don't even remember this. Dude, I don't even remember Genshin having the same issues as Wuthering Waves. Now, this is probably the part where your heart may be dropping, being like, uh, Tectone, uh, I heard that weapon was pretty good. 
Oh, uh, uh, what, what are you going to say about it? Well, let's talk about that, huh? The Widsith. Base attack, crit damage, 30.9%. That shit don't matter. What matters is this part right here. Okay, ready for this? When a character takes the field, they will gain a random theme song for 10 seconds. This can only occur once every 30 seconds. Um, one of these three effects will be applied. Either your attack will get a boost, your elemental damage will get a boost, or your elemental mastery will get a boost. Now, when you read this, when a character takes the field, that is probably triggering in your mind when any of the characters in your party yeah. take the field. I'm going to turn off these alerts that are being blasted from twitch.tv forward slash tech tone because I'm getting a shit ton of follows right now and i don't know why so i'm gonna mute those okay? plug. you probably read that and you think when any character takes the field they get a buff and i don't blame you for thinking that because noelle a great weapon that people run on her is actually Tales called right here thrilling yeah. tales of dragon when switching characters the new character taking the field has their attack increased by 48 percent for 10 seconds yeah so you'd assume that these weapons are pretty similar when a new character takes the field boom they get the buff that is not the case for Witseth. When a character takes the field, what it should say is when this character takes the field. So what I'm saying is the Witseth is no longer a support book. It's a DPS book because this book will only work on your character. It's going to last 10 seconds. Um, so Genshin Impact? had the exact same issues as Wuthering Waves. The players didn't get compensated, regardless of how many people pulled on the banner for it. And people are still trying to use this against Kuro Games as if it's a one-off example. So, Korean Harris, what do you think? So, so what do you think? So what do you think, man? Unban him? He's not bad. He's not bad. So so what's going on, man? Someone ban him? Oh, yeah, guys, you don't need to ban so when I when I pull somebody up, if I want to ban, I'll ban him. So what do you, what do you have to say about this? What's going on, man? Are you still here? Let's see. No, they're still here. They're still in chat. So what's what's your defense? Oh, it's a four star. Oh, oh, so it doesn't count. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't realize that it didn't count just because it's a four star. Oh man, yeah, you're so right. People definitely didn't want to pull for that because it was being touted as one of the best support weapons. People definitely didn't lose money on that. So it, it doesn't matter though, because the star. Duh. You know what I think, Korean Harris? You you know what I think, Korean Harris? I'm gonna tell you something that you might not like. I think that you're a hypocrite. That's what I think. What do you think about that? I think that you're the hypocrite. How does that feel? So you're saying companies are allowed to thieve players a little bit as long as it's not a lot. So you're telling me that a company that made a mistake and properly rewarded every player and gave them back all of their currency with a bonus is worse than a company who left an issue in the game, didn't fix it till much later, never gave compensation out for it. Is that what you're saying? So your Hoyo versus allowed to steal from its players over and over and over again, as long as it's a little bit. I'm saying comparatively speaking, Kuro ran the game way worse than Hoyo. So how is it worse if Kuro refunded all of their players and then some and Hoyo verse just said, eh, we'll fix it later. And they didn't reward their players at all. How's that better? How, how is that better? Explain how refunding your players is worse than stealing from players. 
refunded, aka negative premium currency without resorting to 2x top up. They already fixed that. They gave every single player a gift card. So, can you explain? Can you explain? I, I'm waiting for you to not admit that you're wrong and just bring up another lie. Let me know. Okay, so we're we're just gonna go ahead and not address it. Okay, yeah. So what about what about all of them leaking their phone numbers? What about that? Yeah. Yeah, so what about the, the Beto Rayda interaction not working? So what about that? Yeah, what's going on, man? Oh, that gift card for leaking emails, personal that was only just for streamers? Oh, okay. So those issues don't matter because Hoyo did them. Okay. Okay. Oh, I get it. Oh, I get it. Okay, I get it now. Oh, hey, here's the thing, Greenhouse. I think that you're the hypocrite. Does that make you upset? I think that you're projecting, man. That's what I think, personally. What do you think about that? What do you think? Because I, I think, I'm going to be real, man. I think that you're the hypocrite. That's what I'm That's what I'm gathering here, man. How does it, how does it make you feel when I call you that? Does that make you happy or does that make you upset? Oh, your answer is, Whatever, man. <laughs> you mad because you got caught, dumbass. <laughs> Bitch. Mad because you got caught. And with that, with that, get the fuck out of my chat. Get the fuck out my chat. You a bitch and you know you a bitch. Bitch boy, goddamn. Holy shit, what a dumb fuck. What a straight up aggressive dumb fuck. Bro thought he was right. And you know what's crazy? I have him banned. He can't see my stream and he still has my stream up. He still has my stream up. What a dumb fuck. What well, it doesn't matter cuz whoa. Well, it doesn't matter because, um, well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It might, no, no, I don't know. It doesn't matter because I don't want, I don't care. All right, here we go. All right, so I, I, Dunkle's upset at me. All right, let's figure out why he's upset at me. All right, let's figure it out. Here we go. Here we go. I, Dunkle. Fucking sitting here with 20,000, or what do you have, 16? How many viewers does he have? I had like 8K. I don't, I don't know how many he had. He had like six to 10,000 viewers uh -huh. just berating the chat with his answers. Right. So, like, I'm like a judge, right, for the show, right? And, like, I'm going to be on next week, right? So, like, I don't know if this I Dunkle understands why I'm doing this, but I, I, I know a lot of people forget. Uh, but I am a part of OTK. And it's encouraged that streamers react to the streams of the streams their org mates put on. And so this guy's upset that the judge of the first 70% of the game show went and reacted to the game show of which I'm going to be a judge on. Uh, and you're upset because I just gave my honest feelings. Like, I don't, I don't know what you want me to do, man. You know, like you, you kind of just made the whole shtick that you're just a, a a guy that looks good and you can you can tell me you can tell me that that's not what you did but even in your bio it's tall handsome and humble you know what I'm saying like me giving my opinion I can only do what you know I can only do what you tell me and this thing's called OTK top streamer not OTK top only fans you know what I'm saying so like I'm just looking for people who were good content and I didn't see that for me. You know, I can only give you my opinion. You know, I'm not stating as an objective fact. I'm just letting you know how I feel. But the good news is, is whether you made it on this episode, and you already got on, that's already huge. Or whether you made it to my episode, I mean, you would have made it one more episode, I guess. But I would have voted you out 100%. And that's, once again, that's no hate towards you as a person. Right now, I think this thing right here is a little bit immature, right? 
but I can only I can only say what's in front of me. But saying that a guy who's a part of OTK can't help be a part of judging the OTK top streamer, I think is just a little bit silly. I think you're caught up in your feelings, and I do think you have every right to be angry. But I think you should direct your anger somewhere else. And rather than get upset and try to cause me a hate thread, why don't you just resubmit an entry into a future season where you make the video a little bit more about the content, right? And just make a better video. Because I just thought the video was bad, right? And and let's be real. There's a reason. And I can understand if you're upset because if you just look at right here, it's not like every judge was sold on you, right? Emmy said yes. Nick said yes. But Asman said no. Like sometimes things just go to the chat, right? Now... Me typing no in the chat would be different. It would be different if I went in and I told my chat, hey, guys, everybody type no, but I didn't fucking do that. And regardless, the OT Cray crowds, the OTK crowds, and they're going to do whatever they want because there was also a lot of contestants that I said no to that also passed. So stating this as an objective fact, I think it's a little bit dangerous. I understand why you're upset, but uh, yeah, I think rather than being a bitch online, I think making a better submission entry for the next one would probably be a little bit better of an idea, but that's just my opinion. So they're just going to listen to him. And if they listen to me, then why isn't it 100% of the chat? If he didn't do this, I would have made it through. 52%. If this dude mm -hmm. didn't do this, I would have went through. Yeah, you would have made it one more episode to where I would have told you, hey, I don't like your content, you can leave. Because I'm the judge on the next episode. Uh, the reason why I watch these things is I like giving contestants a fair chance. And I actually watch multiple episodes. I watch every single episode. I also attempt to talk to every single streamer as well. Uh, if you want proof of that, let me also just go ahead and prove that real quick. Uh, I attempt to talk to every single member of the OTK top streamer, of people who I think have um, promise. Uh, for example, uh, make sure I'm not leaking anything. Uh, like For example, with Bamfa. Uh, I'm very excited for Banfa. I think they're going to do a great job, and I like reaching out to the smaller streamers to let them know that I do care about them because I like helping them. Uh, but if you're upset that I went back and I wanted to watch a video to give contestants a better chance for when I go up because I like having a complete opinion. I don't like only watching one episode and judging your entire character. And I also try to do research on the people who I know who are even going to be on the show because OTK top streamer is one of my biggest passions. I love growing smaller streamers. That's why I do react content. That's why I also do a podcast with as many small streamers as possible. But I think going here saying boo who's so sad a judge judged my competition it's just a little bit stupid. Let's keep your name I Dunkle, not I Dumbass. And let's calm down a little bit, be a little bit more mature, and maybe make a better trailer for next time that people might actually like rather than saying, boo who's so sad, my life is so hard, because a judge judged me. Uh, but that's just my opinion. So let's, let's grow up a little bit there, big guy. <clears throat> yeah, that's my opinion. <clears throat> Check text. Hi, Jimmy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Guys, I've only made one video so far. I was supposed to make 12 today. Uh... Chad, I'm not leaving you. 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 I told you I'm not leaving you. I told you guys I'm giving you at least a six-hour stream. I told you guys I'm giving you at least a six-hour stream. Okay, we're shooting. Don't worry. Because I, I missed yesterday. No, I didn't. I streamed yesterday. Wait a minute. Nah, I got to be here. I got shit I need to do. I got shit I need to do. But... But soon, 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 soon. Only a thousand being made. Dude. Holy ass, bro. Bro, that is so fucking sick. What the fuck? Have you seen the vampire survivors thing in League from our beloved Necro? I got my notes. If only I could read my handwriting. So, indeed, this year League's summer event is based around Anima Squad. 
Of course, the big summer event has to have its own skin line, so here you go. Now, what's cool about Anima Squad is that this universe has been Dude. set up by the other skins already. I've been so excited for this, man. Those of you who already know the story of the Anima Squad skins have an advantage. I think so this will be. I DLC think this will actually be the best game League of Legends ever made. The are information. The Anima Squad universe is a futuristic universe that is attacked by the Primordians. These are a sort of alien enemies that have been teased in the past quite a few times. As part of the story here, we are dealing with the Bat Squad, with, of course, uh, Vayne being the Bat. And all of this is happening in Dude. a city simply called the Final City. This shit's gonna be so there good. Is a new original threat, Aatrox. Now, of course, yeah. the big skin line needs a legendary My motherfucking skin. boy! Aatrox is the one. And let me tell you, that legendary skin looks amazing. It looks so good. It even has an alien shark head that turns into a monstrosity. That's now, so sick. Now, I will sick. likely not have the assets right now, so I can't show you the skin, uh, but I can show you uh, this image. This is from one of the after parties at Riot, where we built uh, the Aatrox skin from uh, Legos, and I am really good at Legos. So, wow, uh, that's the, so cool. The, the, we won. But of course, since Aatrox is the enemy, it would be a good idea to also have a legendary skin for the good guys. Yeah. And I am so honored to announce that this time around, Seraphine is the one. And you know just how happy those Seraphine mains are gonna be. I don't believe... Okay... So, guys, I'm going to just say that Seraphine is supposed to be uh, 16. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm just calling bullshit, man. There's just no way. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just think that's bullshit. If she's 16, I'm 16. <laughs> Because let me tell you, this flesh art alone is gorgeous. Oh, Again, I probably don't have the skin, so uh, just uh, trust me. Of course, besides that, you also have a bunch of the normal skins. So, for example, we have Leona, who represents a lot. I have proof of you're a hypocrite. Okay. God damn, bro. Bro's loaded. Lion. For that skin, be ready for a really badass lion. Show me the game video. mode, man. Damn, and shut up. Vampire Survivor inspired game mode that is fully replayable not to mention it is also entirely free which is crazy oh my this is God. like a whole separate game you would normally buy for like 15 bucks on steam so oh yes it is focused God. on the co-op part while being pve and what's absolutely crazy is that apparently i am responsible for this game mode existing Yes, I actually asked right about this and they confirmed uh, I can mention this. So what happened is that this game mode was prototyped by a writer called Sarayan. It's an awesome guy who actually started really? working on Really? Uh, in case skins. you guys don't know, I'm also responsible for a skin in League of Legends. It's called Pool Party's Eggs. Uh, I submitted that on Facebook like back in like 2014. But then Riot snatched him to do some VFX on proper League of Legends skins. Now, this person is crazy enough that one day he just decided to fit... Proof? No proof. So you can call me a liar if you want. ...with the spaghetti that's behind no League that. of Legends. And as... My Facebook account's deactivated. As ...the teams were thinking about what would be possible to do with game modes, apparently he watched one of my videos where I was complaining about PvE not being in League. I can probably tell you exactly which video that was. And he was inspired to just fiddle with the spaghetti long enough for him to make a prototype. And being a fan of Vampire Survivors himself, that's what he did. Dude, so this yes, looks so guys, fucking good. If we didn't complain a few years ago, this wouldn't exist. And here's that's the so sick. twist. And that's While why you bitch. Normally you would be controlling League of Legends with a mouse, your cursor doesn't do much here besides aiming some of your abilities. You actually move like you would in any other Survivor game with WASD. Smart. It sounds strange at no, first doesn't. when I mention this, but let me tell you, this does wonder. This shit is fucking it chaos, bro. It feels like you are playing a totally different game and not League of Legends, which has all the benefits you would imagine. Now, while this game mode is technically aiming for a bit more casual audience, it is still a bullet heaven. It is anything but casual. Your blood pressure. Yeah, it looks cool as fuck. I, I want to talk about the Nick Merckx doctor disrespect shit. So I got I to gotta pull up some tweets. Uh, let me see if I can find all this shit. Alright, there's this one. 
Uh, and then there's Dr. Disrespect. Let me see if I can find it. Dr. Disrespect. Okay. And let's see. There's this post. Okay. And then there was the other one. I believe it was made by Jake Lucky. That's pink naked on my timeline. There she goes. Go, go. All right. Jake Lucky. Can I find Dr. Disrespect? Um, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, I found this too. Yeah, okay, let me see if I can find the actual post. Okay, pull this up. Okay. Realize that Techie is slowly becoming Keemstar, but for the gaming community. Um, I don't really think Keemstar. It's more like Asmongold, but gotcha. Uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, let's do... Let's think. Uh, what else was there? I believe I believe that was all. And then we got to do the original Dr. Disrespect ban, uh, which I can kind of give you full context for. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm still recording. What was I originally recording for? What did I start recording for? Oh, the I dunkle thing. That'll go on more tech on that shit ain't that shit, that, shit, that shit ain't going on, man. That's just not worth it. I'm sure I'm sure one of my clip editors will find that shit. Okay. Let's go into it. Alright, boys. Uh welcome to another series of videos where I attempt to make a very complex internet issue very, very, very straightforward and try to represent things from an unbiased perspective. And I try to let you guys know what's going on and get you guys up to date with all the dumbass shit that happens on Twitter because hey. Uh, as much as people hate it, I fucking love drama. Okay. I think it's funny as fuck. And this one is insane, uh, because I've been following this shit for like four years. So let me take you back uh, a long, long, long time ago to, there was a streamer called Dr. Disrespect who originally blew up in the game, uh, H1Z1, uh, then took over PUBG, uh, with streamers like Tim, the tat man and shroud. One of the hottest rising stars of the YouTube industry, Twitch industry, uh, blowing up on every single platform until one day he got banned. And his ban was very, very, very confusing because he was banned and the reason was never given. Uh, Dr. Dusbeck never addressed it. Twitch never uh, addressed it. And the whole mystery of what was going on with Dr. Disrespect was never answered. Year after year, this kept on happening. Nobody knew what was going on until eventually uh, Dr. Disrespect got offered a contract at YouTube. He later went to YouTube, streamed on there, and I would be lying if I saying that, uh, you know, he was kind of killing it on YouTube as well, and him, or Twitch losing him, didn't really seem to affect him whatsoever. He still kills it on that platform, and he's still going strong until today. Uh, and people assume that once he got his contract from YouTube, that, well, if YouTube would take him, then clearly he didn't do anything wrong according to Twitch, and maybe it was Twitch just being stupid, because let's just be real, Dr. Disrespect is a pretty outspoken individual, and we all know the internet doesn't like outspoken individuals. Now, skip forward until today, because it went completely radio silent for years. There was murmurs, and there was rumors being talked about, oh, maybe he did this, Maybe he did that. Maybe he hit a kid. Maybe he texted some fucking underage kids. Maybe he set riot industry on fire. But rumors are rumors, and until proof presents itself, if there is no evidence, then rumors just stay rumors. Until uh, yesterday, where a, I believe, a Twitch staff of 14 years left the field and tweeted out this. He got banned because he got caught sexting a minor and then existing Twitch Whispers product. He was trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon. The powers that could be read in plain text. No one made the wrong decision. Fuck him and his boys. Obviously referring to another streamer called Nick Merckx, which we'll get into later. Now, people saw this. And they immediately took it at face value with another much bigger content creator underneath the name of Jake Lucky, which retweeted this with over three or 7.2 million views, 27,000 likes. A former Twitch employee has come forward and stated the alleged reason for Dr. Disrespect's permanent Twitch ban being for sexting a minor in the previous Twitch Whispers product. Dr. Disrespect responded to this tweet and said, Jake, seriously, I get it. 
It's a hot topic, but this has been settled. No wrongdoing was acknowledged, and they paid out the whole contract. Now, here are the two massive issues, and we're not done here yet. There has not been proof of a single claim that's been made. However, people are treating this as a death sentence. And while I do agree, this Cody Connors does have uh, credentials for reasons why people could believe them. If you are a part of Twitch staff, the only thing I'm wondering is, why can't you just go on the Wayback Machine, find the logs of him doing this, damn him beyond a shadow of a doubt, provide proof and evidence of your claims, case closed, end it, done and dusted, what's done is done, right? Very simple. However, however, no evidence was provided. People still accepted it. Some people are demanding proof. I think the internet is healing. I do think that that is a good thing to ask for. When somebody says, hey, this person did this, here's why, it's a lot better than, I said he did this, believe me right now. It's just not really a good look. And this is a much better step in the right direction. Now, am I saying Dr. Disrespect didn't do it? No, absolutely not. I'm not saying that. However, accusations are just accusations until proof is provided. If every single person who was accused of something uh, had to defend themselves with proof, uh, okay, well then, you watching this right now, you're a pedophile. Prove me wrong. It's very hard to do that. That's why proof is the burden of the accuser and not on the burden of the accused. Uh, because it is very hard to just pull evidence out of your ass out of a random thing that you were accused for. And I'm sure you agree that false accusations happen quite a bit. Uh and this is good that the internet is uh, is requesting proof because this is how the world will heal and a lot of people who didn't do anything aren't wrong. Now, once again, I am not saying that these accusations aren't very serious. I'm not saying that Dr. Disrespect didn't do it. However, I do think it's fair for everyone that if you are going to accuse someone of something that serious, that you should at least provide proof for it rather than just expecting everyone to believe you with no way for you to prove what you're saying whatsoever. Okay. Now, here's the other problem. When Dr. Disrespect was accused of this, his response was, let's be real, a little bit less than people were expecting. And here's why. He says, Jake, seriously, I get it. it's a hot topic, but this has been settled. No wrongdoing was acknowledged, and they paid out the whole contract. The problem is people really hyperfixated on no wrongdoing was acknowledged because that to the internet made people say, no wrongdoing was acknowledged. This motherfucker did that shit. No wrongdoing was acknowledged does not mean no wrongdoing occurred. So, obviously, Dr. Disrespect is underneath a lot of NDAs. He's probably talking to a lot of lawyers about this issue. So, the legal speak of which he was using, people really didn't like that shit whatsoever. And if there's one thing, and I'm sure you guys would all agree, the internet loves a witch hunt. The internet loves a witch hunt. They are looking for people to hate. They are looking for people to castrate. They are looking at ways to put other people down, to put themselves up. It's the way that a lot of narcissists act on the internet. And so Dr. Disrespect followed up with an additional response, which says, Listen, I'm obviously tied to legal obligation to settlement from settlement from Twitch, but I just need to say what I can say since this is the fucking internet. I didn't do anything wrong. All of this has been probed and settled. Nothing illegal. No wrongdoing was found, and I was paid. Elden Ring Monday. So this was a much better response. He's saying he did nothing illegal. He didn't do anything wrong, and Twitch still fully paid him out, and he's saying no wrongdoing occurred. This is a much better response. Now... Some people commented saying things like Twitter is guilty until proven innocent. It's a cesspool of morons. Very true. Crazy how shit used to be innocent until proven guilty, but now it's guilty until proven innocent. Now, this is very good, okay? Because if people are doing things wrong, they need to be held accountable. But people need to understand how the legal system works. People need to understand how the law works, how juries work, how judges and courtrooms work. You are guilty until proven innocent. And when accusations are given uh, firepower behind them, well, then accusations soon become a death sentence if you don't need to provide proof of your claims. And that's why this is very important. And then when proof is provided, you also need to check that proof because there's a lot of people, especially in the gotcha space, who claim that proof will clear their name, but that proof that they provide usually ends up fucking 
clearing themselves and not clearing them names. So you need more than just evidence. You need more than proof. You need proof and evidence that actually back your claims, not actively go against you. I don't really think I need to bring up what example I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure we all know exactly what I'm talking about for people who provide false proof. Now, this is great. I would like to know what's actually going on. It appears the rat and the bat and the monkey's out of the fucking bag. And now I would just like to see a backing for what's going on. We have two scenarios. Either the original accuser, Cody, is completely off his shit and was doing some horrible things by falsely accusing Dr. Disrespect, or two, Dr. Disrespect did some horrible fucking shit and we will sue, hopefully see, justifications or ramifications for his actions and a punishment be delivered. What side are you on? I'm not sure. But the reason why this false proof is so bad is because there was another tweet that was put up by Dr. Disrespect in, in recordings to one of his friends, Nick Merckx, which Nick Merckx is a pretty outspoken individual, a very controversial individual. He says a lot of fucked up shit, and it is what it is. And he put out the tweet, Good morning, stream on kick. Don't forget the age of exent is 16 in most places, and a lot of people ate this shit up until they realized this is a fake fucking tweet. And people ate this shit up. I need proof that Dr. Disrespect sex is a minor. Trans people need to leave our kids alone. What a fucking joke of a human. This was a fake fucking tweet. And people gobbled that shit up. It was community noted. This is a fake tweet. Nick Merckx never said this. But the problem is, is that everybody is hungry for a witch hunt. Everybody is looking for someone to slaughter. And I agree, Nick Merckx is pretty openly anti-trans. And my whole issue with all this is, rather than make up fake reasons to hate someone, why don't we just find the real things that can be proven and we focus on those? I think the internet's heading in a better direction because I do think that people are now requiring evidence and proof for the claims that they make against creators rather than provide uh, expecting the creators themselves who get accused to provide that proof. Back up your claims, back up your proof, and then move on. That's how it goes. Makes things a lot similar, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. If there's any update in the Dr. Dispatch case, I'll let you guys know, but right now it looks very interesting. And uh, yeah, I do think this is a sign for, one, a close to one of the greatest mysteries that have ever happened on Twitch, two, a step in the right, right direction for Twitter cancer culture, taking a massive blow and people finally needing proof of the accusation they place on creators, and three, let's hope to God nobody did anything awful because we all know that we don't want any children getting hurt in the process. Anyways, let me know what your opinion is, and what a wild fucking ride it's been. Mental illness needs to be treatment, not be normalized. Uh, I agree with you. Cool. Yeah. Uh, shit's wild. Yeah, I'll be real, man. I kind of draw the line at uh, them adding litter boxes to middle schools because people think that they're dogs. People think that they're cats. Uh, I think it's dumb as shit. That's not real. No way that's real. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's locked behind a pay gated site. Okay, fuck it. I'm not even going to bother talking about it then. Uh, I'm not subscribing to the Utah Times newsletter to fucking talk about it, bro. I'm just, I'm simply not going to do that, bro. Uh, I'm not, I'm not paying $7.99 to do that shit, bro. That's fucking ridiculous. Bro, it, it, it's a sad fucking day when the news is pay gated behind a paywall. Fuck that. NBC News? 
This is the one from October 14th, 2022. The article I was attempting to pull up is from 2024. I know this used to be a myth, but I know there was one uh, that happened more recently. This is a very, very, very old one. There was one that happened in 2024. That's the one I was looking for for the, uh, for the source of that one. L-O. Straight dookie. All right, cool. Anyways, uh, we got two videos done so far, and probably one more tech tone, maybe even two more tech tone. Uh, we got more videos I need to watch. Probably Firefly EXE would probably be a banger video. Why Wuthering Waves will never surpass Genshin Impact. Yeah, I'll probably watch that soon. Wuthering Waves is going to kill Genshin. Genshin is... This video is four weeks old. 50% dislikes. Isn't this the guy who did um, Zyox Genshin Court? Big reason why, whenever I'm doing like a Fremena showcase, I just chuck him in a Hyper Bloom team. Because the other characters in that team kind of fucking carry while you're on field, and Cryo has synergy there. Fridge isn't a worthless interaction. You actually get more blooms per Hydro app because the Hydro will freeze and then bloom and then you'll get more Dendro cores, but it is what it is. You know, it's okay. I pulled Verfina's sword and got a harp. Wait, that's actually not bad though. Harp's actually good. Harp is probably the best five-star standard weapon you could get alongside Jade Spear, I think. Hmm, is this true? Twist Genshin Court, clickbait, shit-talking people. Having Sing so will make it so that when you want to play chill, you can use him over your C6 Yelan. 40% more damage, that's huge, right? Well, it's not bad. This is a good weapon and it is good on him. Just keep in mind that he is not a hyper carry. Hello there, Flip here, and today we are back with another Genshin Court. Just because it's been such a long time, and I know you guys missed Edex Flip. And well, if you were expecting the Zyx Court, assuming you've seen the intro, I'm sorry to say that being in line with the toxic clickbitter I am, I lied. However, instead of trialing the tallest and most intelligent man in the Genshin community, we are going to be trialing the one who feeds him his info, so it's basically the same thing. They both like characters who don't have a single drippy bone in their body. They both hate themselves because they play League. And then... Just pretend there are more similarities. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't specify. The one being trialed today is none other than a repeat offender, the Jeff 77. And for those of you who don't know what the Genshin Court is or what it entails, the TLDR of it is that we'll be trialing certain Genshin content creators based on their takes on characters or the game in general, and give them a fitting sentence accordingly. The first time I courted Jeffrey, I basically gave him the trial equivalent of a kiss on the forehead and a slap on the wrist. So why am I now deciding to do a retrial of the 77? It's mostly due to not only his biases towards not pulling 5 stars is being brought to extreme heights, but also due to the fact that he has agendas that he will push about certain units and characters, knowing full well they are false, but in his vigilante efforts to defund Hoyoverse, lying and being intentionally misleading is just one of the steps. Roll the clip. Okay, here's the thing about that, alright? Kokomi is better than Barbara. However, people way underestimate Barbara to this day, and I will gladly lie and say that Barbara is better than Kokomi just to get people to think about Barbara again. Uh, what? And this isn't the only time he said this. In reality, they're about as good as each other, but I say Sir Gross is better because it's clickbait. <laughs> With Genshin Court, clickbait. As said in my previous video, Agenda 77 is heavily against people feeling pressure to pull 5 stars, and because of that, he will over Hey, Flip, I don't know if you'll ever see this, but I'm gonna be real, I really feel like you should stop making these. I really feel like you should stop making these. Because I think, I think your problem is, is that I think you are not socially, I, I, I believe you're socially inept. And I think you are struggle to know what a joke is. And I think your whole Genshin court relies on taking hyperbolic, sarcastic comments and taking them seriously. Uh, and I think you lack the charisma to actually make the videos funny or good. And I think you should probably just stick to making guide content and tip videos. 
But yeah, because uh, I think I, I'm gonna be real. Like these videos are just awkward and weird. And uh, yeah, I think it's probably for your best interest to just not do that. Because yeah, it's just fucking mad weird. <clears throat> yeah, that's just my opinion though. Anyways, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't want to get the fact that he even said head low on ironically. What's this? I would suck on my own toes. I don't care. What the fuck? Dude, how is there not, how is like, how is that not more popular than the E-Rob Ogre, bro? That song is such a fucking banger. All right, cool. How many videos? Okay, I don't care. I will watch that. I will watch that. Um, Maybe. I'm down to watch that. Uh, I don't care. I'm down to watch that. I'm down to watch that. I don't really care about Donald Trump anymore. I do want to watch the debates happening on Thursday. Uh, so I will I will most likely be live uh, reacting to the Donald Trump versus Joe Biden debates. Uh, I'm actually really excited for that. Phantom Blade don't care. Uh, I probably should watch this because I am curious on Asman's opinion, on Sticks' opinion. Uh, I'm not giving a fuck about that. Don't care about that. That's going to be a shit show? Yeah, I know. I can't wait, man. Trump and Biden better both enter cardiac arrest of that debate. Oh, I don't want that. Mina drama? It's been a while. <laughs> Yikes. This is the fucking... Re wait, what the fuck? This is the reaction? You, you got that aroused in two seconds. Holy shit. Have you played the story with your eyes closed? She is not just made characters good. Yeah, a lot of people were calling out people's bullshit now, which is really, really, really nice. Because before, there was just so much bullshit. It was insane. Uh, Wuthering Waves, fully ramblematic. I wanted to watch this shit, too. I do need to watch whatever the fuck Tianzi 76 is, though. I've been linked this shit a lot. I just, I'm just wondering, like, why people care. Does anybody, Do you guys know what the fuck Tianzi 76 is? Because I've, I've been linked this multiple times. Is this like, is this like a gotcha game? Bro, how many videos you have pulled up? Well, I'm trying to get through all of them today. Genshin Killer? Heard of it? It's the new meta game. I don't know about that. Another one got to? Okay, we'll watch it. Give me a second. You already watched it? I don't think I did. Hold on. I think it's, it's really fucking hot up here. Give me a second. More like an old man because I'm old. Boom, 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 boom. Jesus, my legs are so locked up. Ah! Oh. All right. There's no way it's 105 degrees outside, bro. It's so hot in Texas. It's a whole 76 degrees. It's 76 degrees. There's people dying on the street. There's people dying. Why not watch the shorter videos first? This is only six minutes, man. This shit is short as fuck. Anyways, shika noko 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 koshtan tan. Uh, I don't think I've seen this shit. Tianzi76. What? What is this? Cute. 
I don't get what the deal is with head patch, bro. I think they're so fucking cringe. So is this is this supposed to be another Genshin game? Oh shit, what the fuck? Okay. Okay, that's wild as shit. Wait, is this just a, is this just a skateboarding game? I wouldn't expect nothing like this. Dude, I used to play a game called Jet Set Radio Future. Uh, fucking banger ass game, completely carried by the soundtrack. But I fuck with skating games heavily. Is it actually just a skating game entirely? Cute design. Okay. Azure Lane fans aren't going to like the fact that there's a male in their game. They're not going to like that. Why are we looking at a dude? Okay. Well, you got one, bro. You missed about the other 80, so I don't really see why that was that cool. So what's the other game plan? All right. What the fuck is even going on? All right. So now they're in weathering waves. Why the fuck they do all that? Okay. And what do you do in those zones? So is it just gonna be another Genshin type game? Okay, Nice tips.
Cute. What the fuck? No, I don't fucking get it. Uh, I don't even get what the fuck that was supposed to be. Uh, there's like skateboards and shit. Like... Okay, so, okay. And then there was, like, puzzles or something. And then there was a... It looked like a whole bunch of ultimates, but then no fucking enemies, and... Uh, you can skate. I mean, I guess it looks good. And I, I mean, I mean, fuck. I, I, don't, I don't know what the fuck that was supposed to be. It looks pretty, I guess. The, anim the animations look okay, I guess. The game look okay. Uh... I mean, it didn't look better than Genshin or Wuthering Ways, but like, man, it looked all right, I guess. But I, that's probably the most confusing trailer I've ever seen. Like, I mean, I feel like when you have that long of a trailer and you don't show any true gameplay, f f fuck, fuck if I know whatever the fuck. Do you, am I crazy? Do, do you guys know what the fuck that was supposed to be? Because I just don't get it. What is this? Regarding Tianzi76, the CM player recently got asked known dev. Uh, the same one who said three years of work gone to waste last year, but the game was scrapped. Three years of the game is gone. It is unknown to the point where this game or not has been canceled. Okay. Uh, didn't even suppose. All jokes aside, nobody really knows why, but the likely reason due to lack of staff working on the game. They were hiring art directors for his... Okay, so maybe the game doesn't even exist. So we don't know if the game exists or not. We don't know if the game... We don't know what the game is is okay all right well hey i'm just i'm confused i don't even know what the fuck that was supposed to be but i, I mean here's my reaction okay i guess <laughs> that's pretty much it what the fuck was that bro new wuwa glitch is this loro uh i came here with you today for a a bit of, i don't know if it's a glitch. 27 dislikes Get unlimited echoes before it gets fixed. Glitch right now, but I, I got this really cool strat for farming Dreamless that... And, as you can expect, HP percent, crit damage, crit damage. Come back and spawn outside and make sure that when you go back in, you retry the fight. And then it, that dying will allow you to reselect the difficulty four fight, and then you can refight. <laughs> Earth the burbs, bro. I find I find the Ikes to be so easy now. It's a visual bug. Hey, I'm gonna keep it a buck, man. I feel like nobody trusts his ass after that, bro. That's insane. Bro laughing, he can't even get with the bay. Yeah, I, I don't know what the fuck that was supposed to be, but hey, man, it got... It got views. It got views. How to beat the death bird. What is up, YouTube? Continuing with the sort of boss guide slash documentation slash tips. I mean, shit, I don't, I, I don't even know like what I would call this because it's kind of just like there's a lot of unique perspective to be had in having no healer. And I like talking about it. I don't know. It's fun. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I How to beat the death bird. I just kill it, bro. I just reduce its HP to zero, man. Have you seen this? Have I seen what? Breaking news. Unidentified black holes. No, I haven't seen this. Yeah, I just beat it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Here we go. Salut les potes. 
いやそれマジやばくね<笑> This is a giant like balls here or thing Mais salut les potes il y a ce truc qui vient d'apparaître en plein milieu de la rue je sais pas ce que c'est c'est Emily tu fais quoi I think I should jump into it. Yo, Chad, can we get a pull going? Should I jump into this? Yes, yes, cute. Okay, pose. Yeah! Get one with the thing, with the thing. Yeah, the thing. What? Connor! Oh, God. Connor, don't you dare! Four flips, four flips. No! No, 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 no! I'm getting word right now that anomalies resembling black holes are cropping up around This shit is so fucking cringe. It's just so fucking cringe, bro. It's just so fucking cringe. Yeah, I'm good, man. I, I just really just don't give a fuck. Yeah, I, I just I just don't care. Porn acting, yeah, anyways. New gotcha game. Ethria restart four months ago. It's not new, it's old. And then we got whatever the fuck this is. Uh, let's see. Last one. I really don't care. I'm not really looking for a new gotcha game right now. I'll keep it a buck. Yeah, I don't know why ZZZ keeps on releasing dog crap. I really don't get it. I liked it. Oh, yeah, I don't care. Yeah, I'm not here to tell you what you like. I'm just here to tell you what I like. Uh, yeah, I, I fucking don't care. Uh, yeah, I feel like the marketing team is just so fucking ass. I feel like every single trailer for Zen the Zone Zero has been so fucking ass. And it sucks because, like, I'm genuinely excited for Zen the Zone Zero, but the marketing has been so bad, it's honestly kind of killing my hype. I'm still going to play it. I'm, I'm still going to fucking play it, but, like, it's just so fucking bad. What's going on? I, 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 also, I, I also don't really understand why Hoyoverse continues to, like, try to force certain content creators down your throat. Like, I don't understand with the constant push of, like, Zyoxes, but it's just, to me, it's just weird. Uh, I don't know why Zyox is in every fucking event. I don't know why he's in every fucking trailer. But me personally, like, I, I just find it really weird when companies have, like, favorite creators. And, yeah, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of that at all. Anyways. I, I, I guess maybe he's the new golden boy, I guess. Cute. God damn, that frame rate is dog shit. And a crispy 10 FPS. A crispy 10 FPS. question why even send me these videos of these bootleg ass trailers bro like i've seen a million fucking trailers that look just like that it looks fucking dog shit bro like good the fps is so fucking terrible. this fps guy looks really fun i bet you it don't stranova three months ago with 59 clicks man this game is hot right now <laughs> Yeah, I don't know about that one, man. That shit also looks ass. This seemed interesting. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this one will be good if it's real. If it's real, 
If it's real, then it can be cool, but we'll see. I can't believe Hoyoverse is doing this with Zelda Zone Zero. Ready in marketing. And they're all sitting down and having a, t a discussion uh, among. Let's go, money. So they're going to reveal this full-blown conversation that they're having. They're playing Street Fighter 6 together. I imagine they're probably playing Zenless Zone Zero as well. Uh, and right, experience. With any IP fighting to medic and their great attention to detail with producing characters with their own signature aesthetic on those characters, right? Like Dante and Virgil will look sick. Trish will look sick in an animated version. But then when you go into Street Fighter, you have Ken Ryu, Chung Lee, and Cammy. These are the people I feel like they would choose uh to 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 start off with to hype bro said chung lee people up especially chung lee and cammy boy god damn god damn it boy damn stick it in a bowl of peanut butter oatmeal so that would be huge you got mega man you got mega man and zero and then dates when they do the uh collab with monster to those demographics like i said i think that's the most genius marketing strategy because here here's the reality right now zinless zone zero Y'all can talk about the pre-registrations and all that shit. At the end of the day, gotcha players are definitely much more restrictive to try these new games because they're already invested into games they're playing right now. So uh, they're not going to have the volume they really want to have. Basically, what I'm trying to tell you is they can't depend on their pre-existing community to carry that Zenless Zone Zero success to the lengths they want to carry it to. So the next thing to do is to tap into demographics that are untapped by Hoyoverse. And that's why I said the, the Street Fighter 6 collab would be insane. Is you're now tapping in to demographics that don't care about your game or don't know about your game and have no interest in it. But by I don't know if I don't know if trying to tap into audiences that are very interested in one specific genre of fighting game is smart to advertise your game into. Like, I mean, let's be real, I don't think Genshin Impact having an Aloy crossover did anything particular for their numbers. I feel like it's more important for games to access markets where people are already more receptive and have a better crossover rate, but I really don't think that Street Fighter VI and Zenless Zone Zero are going to have any type of insane crossover. I just, I really, I really just don't think that. Fighting game community don't give a fuck about gacha games? Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. Yeah, I don't know, man. How do I get a girlfriend? I'm pretty handsome. I'm like an eight, but I don't go out that much, and I feel like I don't relate to people. Should I fake extroverted personality? Sure, man. Do whatever you want. Um, Guys, I'm going to be really gay. I, I just don't know what's going on with me, man. I just feel really bad. I feel really fucking bad. Like, really ungodly bad. And I hate doing this because I've been streaming so much lately. Or I, wa I was streaming so much. I just feel unwell. And I'm not burnt out. I want to stream. I'm not burnt out at all. I just feel really, really, really unwell. You legit need like a week break, man. I don't want to do that. I just want to stream. Stream's been so fun. I just feel unwell. Fuck. I was looking forward to this all day. That bums me out so much. I'll try to figure out what's wrong with me. Tomorrow's going to be another short stream because I have steak and eggs, but hopefully Tuesday we can get back into it. I really just want to play Elden Ring. That's what I really want to do. But... I guess I will take one more day. Maybe I do need rest. I just, I don't, I don't get it. I feel just terrible. It feels like my brain isn't functioning. It feels like my heart hurts. It's just annoying as fuck. I guess we're doing another short stream again today, boys. Another short stream again tomorrow. Hopefully Tuesday I'll be good to go, but I'm just getting frustrated at this point. I'm sorry. I really hope I'm not letting you guys down. I'm, I'm trying really hard here, but I just feel like this. I'm, I'm like, I'm like cold sweating right now. I feel like it's a million degrees. I checked the thermostat. It's at 69. That freaked me out. I don't know why I'm so hot. Uh, I Maybe I'm... Am I sick? I, I, I don't know. I just don't know. Maybe I should just go see a doctor. Maybe that's what I do. Let, let me let me talk to a doctor or something. I, I just don't... I don't know what's going on. I just... All I want to do is stream, but I just feel fucking terrible. Like, I legit just feel fucking awful. 
fuck. I I mean this genuinely. I am so sorry, guys. I am not going to end stream because I want to. I'm just ending stream because I just feel fucking gross. And I don't think I can perform my ability as a content creator to the best of my ability currently. And I don't want to deliver you guys a suboptimal stream. And I'm very sorry for that. Okay. So tomorrow, steak and eggs, another short stream. And I, and I woke up late again, too. Maybe maybe that's just what it, maybe it is all just sleep. Maybe it's all just sleep. Maybe that's all it is. I'll try to figure it out, okay? I'm so sorry, guys. I, I hope you know that you guys don't stress me out at all, and streaming is my favorite thing, and I'm not upset at you guys. I, I, I'm not doing this because I want to do anything else. I just I just, I just feel really bad. I, I really do mean it. You guys, you guys were awesome today. You guys were so fucking funny. You guys were so active, and I, I genuinely feel horrible because you guys were so good, and I'm not top of my shit. And I feel like I delivered you guys a suboptimal stream, and I just feel fucking terrible about it. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm going to try to get this shit fixed, and we'll go back to how things were earlier, okay? But uh, I, I, I do mean this genuinely. I, I appreciate all you guys so much. Uh, your messages in chat were so good today. Your guys' energy was so good today. You guys were funny as fuck today. Uh, thank you guys for being here. All you guys showed up on time early. I was late and you were still here. Just thank you guys so much. I, I really hope I'm not letting any of you guys down. I worry about that shit nonstop. I, I just don't know what's going on with my health. I don't. I I don't know. Maybe maybe I just need to hit the pool, hit the gym, get some sleep. Maybe I'll pop a Benadryl tonight. Maybe I'll be able to sleep. I don't know. But um, I don't want any of you guys think that it's. I don't. I don't want to take a break from streaming though. I really don't. I don't want to take a break from streaming. I don't think I need to. I don't think I need a break from streaming. I just. It's just very frustrating when my body is getting in the way of me wanting to do my favorite thing, which is stream to you guys. Uh, once again, the only thing I can do is apologize. I barely streamed three hours today, and I just. I, I hope you guys understand that uh, it's it's not streaming. It's it's something else, and I'm trying to figure out what the fuck that is. Uh, I'll try to stay on top of it. Okay. Maybe it's my change in diet. My my my. Maybe it's my. It might be my change in diet. Maybe that's. Maybe I need to eat healthier. I think I've been eating pretty healthy, but I don't know. I'll, I'll try to figure it out. Okay. I really appreciate you guys. I'm so sorry about this. I, I, I'm gonna fix. I promise. I'm gonna fix myself because I don't want you guys worrying about me at all. I guys. I'm okay. I think maybe I'm just sick or something. And I don't really know how to deal with it. Um. But I'll fix it. I promise. For real. A thousand apologies. I'll be back tomorrow. Um, I'm going to stream before steak and eggs, do steak and eggs. And then Tuesday, there should be nothing occupying my time. I think I'm doing something on Wednesday at seven, but I can stream. I'm going to, I'm going to try very hard to fix my sleep schedule right now. No more caffeine the rest of the day, only water. I'll exercise to tire myself out uh, and I'll hit the sauna to make myself sleepy. I, I'm just, I don't know. I, I hope you guys understand how apologetic I am. I just, I want to fix myself. So I can get back to doing what I love and I can get back to hang out with you guys. And uh, just, I, I appreciate the fuck out of you guys. Okay, so once again, many apologies. I'm sorry that I'm stupid and my health is always fucked up. Uh, I'm going to try to get this shit buckled down and I'll see you guys next stream, okay? Once again, I, for real, I, I appreciate the fuck out of you guys. Okay, I'll see you all next time. Thank you guys for being great today. And uh, short stream tomorrow, hopefully long stream on Tuesday. I'm going to try very hard. Maybe I need to do less reacting and get into more gameplay quicker. I'll, I'll try to figure it out. Regardless, I appreciate the fuck of you guys. Once again, I am so fucking sorry, and I'll see you guys later, okay? Uh, I just got to stop being a pussy. Maybe, that's, maybe I'm just a pussy. Maybe that's all it is. I'll talk to my dad, and I'll, I'll get him to tell me to stop being a pussy, okay? Anyways, appreciate you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.